He went to the yeah, Wutok like, School of Dating. What's a hey, Wutok hey, School that of that Dating? <laughs> now I'm learning that Jeremy is a serial pisser when he's blacked out. No, and then, he's wait, abnormal, dude. Wait, no. We've been out and drunk together. I'll <laughs> never let this go. I'm dead ass. He saved my life. Welcome, Welcome back. To... Oh, go, you go, 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 go. Welcome back to uh, 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 just go. Well, 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 Welcome well, back well. to another episode of Under the Influence. My name is Esther. My name is Jeremy. My name. Back to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never <She> mind. <laughs> My name is Eddie. Woo talk. The trap. <laughs> And we are sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique, Unique Asian, Asian flavors and no way after taste. taste. I love you, Jeremy. So this is this box right here in the front, the spirit pack, two new flavors. 100% of the profits will be donated to Maui. We're continuing that. Do not forget about them. You could get it in California, Washington, and BevMo. And also, same, same fundraiser. Oh. <laughs> and Super Bonsai is doing a similar fundraiser where if you use code Aloha at checkout, you can get 20% off and all proceeds are going to the Maui Food Bank. Oh, yeah. Keep buying. So not only will you stop hangovers, you will support Hawaiian, uh, local Hawaiian, local people that live in Hawaii, not Hawaiians. I was yes. educated on that. Get your shit together. You successfully shamed me into yeah. using the right terminology. <laughs> yes. Let's get back into the juicy meat of it all. Yes. It was just, or it is currently Halloween weekend when we are filming this. Mm -hmm. So I and Jordan threw a big fat party yesterday, yesterday night. Big fat juicy girthy on party. Fat, on the eve of today, we threw a big juicy girthy <sighs> fat Halloween costume. How much did you guys party. spend on liqueur? Um, Jordan, Jordan, uh, financiered everything and I just did all the work, work, like yeah. the, invi the inviting and the planning and shit. And, uh, I think it was about three or 4k around mm. Damn. The, the biggest cost though. That's for everything though, including security, bartenders, oh, DJ. That's not yeah. that bad. It's not or bad seems, at all. Yeah. So, but, um, like the super bonsai court party was almost 20 bands. Yeah, I know because the venue was stupid expensive. The house was like half of it, you know? It was like, a sick house though. Sick house. And venue matters. Venue matters a lot. I will say Jordan's house is not the best setup. It's yeah. still it's still great cuz it's, it's amazing cuz it's fat and yeah. it's nice, but Yeah, it's and, and they have that roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But the roof is so far away. That's the mm -hmm. thing. It's like two separates, floors up. Yeah. yeah, it separates the party. But anyways, uh did you guys have fun at said party? Yeah. Did your friends have fun? Yeah. They had fun. Okay. It was I, really fun. They can't come back and let... No, I'm kidding. Why? <laughs> I was going to make a bad they joke. Had a, they had a great time. Eddie, can I have your eye drops? Yeah. But not going to lie, I think that everyone's like... Me included and my friends, we're getting a little older. How old are your friends? They're all your age? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So how old? 25. Oh, I that's not that old. I'm the oldest. I'm 26. So. That's like super party age, though. That's like Is normal really? partying yeah. age. Yep. Yeah. And it's oh. also when you start to have like money to go. Yeah, out. that's like be, real partying age. But I, I must be more mature. But also girls, uh, girls were real partying since they were like 21. True. 19. You, as a 19 year old man, you are not going anywhere cool. <laughs> ah, I, would, I would say right. girls get spoiled from yeah, the yeah. minute that like either if Socially, they have a fake. Yeah, either they have a fake or once they're 21 and they can't go out. It's like. They they just get used to cutting the line, invited to tables. Like, well, you pretty know. girls. Yeah, yeah. Definitely but I mean, how hard you, are. you know, they bring their friends too. So, yeah. but it, that was a thing where like the girls, like when I was a freshman in college, like the girls I was friend with, friends with in the city would go to like literally like top tier clubs, mm -hmm. posting bottle service every weekend, and I'm like. What the fuck? Like, I'm like, one, I could never do that. I would never get invited. But two, if I was to go try to have the same experience, it would cost me 10 grand. I'm like, as a 19 year old, I cannot do that. I think with your long hair and a dress, you might have been able to slip <laughs> in with the group until yeah. one of the guys like grabbed you. He's like, hey, uh, Wu Takina. Oh, shh. Wu Takina. Wu Takina. Feel, <laughs> feel her arms. Hey, look at this yeah. bitch. She got big ass arms. <laughs> hey, you guys, that's what I get. Her. <laughs> People tell me this. Hey, Loki, it's like our party trick with Esther. It's like, flex on him. Yeah. <laughs> flex on him. I was watching the 9 for 9 episode. I was crying because crying everyone was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it is kind of impressive because you deadass never touch weights ever. I know. Yeah. But anyway, so it was fun. You yeah, think, it was fun. You think well, that you're too old to be partying? God, low-key getting there, you know, just 26. But it's every single time nope. I party, like I have the best time. Like yesterday I had a great time. I was like screaming and I was like, yeah, meeting everybody. But then, the, but then I'll, 
after what it was like one o'clock i was like you're drained I, I need to eat i need to eat so bad so i like grabbed jeremy by the throat and i said if you don't eat with me i'll kill you and so he came with me i, I was brought my sick friends. i was sick yep. so i didn't even have a sip of alcohol how how how, um, how how often do you think you get sick in a year by the way i want it's funny you ask because i was like i need to like count th- that yeah i think this year because i'm like there's got there's got to be something wrong if there if you are a good holistic doctor you know of actual legit one that does like gut biome testing things like like the whole nine yards please slide on me um the yeah so i was sober so when she was like let's get food and wanted to leave early i was like absolutely i was i was like you were dying. not having a good time no no i was having fun until the end i was just zapped of energy mm. and also like talking with like a sore throat was not the move i feel that yeah Damn, so why were you kissing everyone at the party if you're sick? Trick or treat. What do you mean? <laughs> Giving out treats. <laughs> Giving out treats yeah. is crazy. Hey, the, something that Vitz said to me that I found hilarious was the differences on Halloween parties and guys with girlfriends, what they dress as, and single guys, what they dress as. <laughs> and then I looked around at the examples, and it was like Julian and his girl. And he's dressed in like this funny ass Mario costume. With the fat pouch. With the yeah. fat pouch, right? And then uh, I look at Logan and he's in the, like a fat penguin costume, uh, like a onesie. Yeah, yeah. And then I look over at Jordan, single guy, Ken, yeah. with like the skin tight leather pants. No, cowboy and a, Ken. And a fucking, yeah, and a cropped cowboy jacket. Oh, was he Ken? Sh- yeah, he shirtless. Ken. Shirt, yeah. Basically shirtless, right? And then I look at me and I'm like, I have rags tied around me as a mummy. Slutty mummy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, literally a slutty mummy. D- it's so funny. It was funny you say that because Dalsy showed up uh-huh. and he's dressed up as like drive, you know, but then he like holds up his phone. Pre- he dressed up entirely in the Mrs. Doubtfire costume, but he was like, he was like, I would get one laugh and then no opportunity to to like talk to any girls. Yeah. So I, he came in this like subdued ass like I was like, dude, that's the best Mrs. Doubtfire costume. But Damn. he was just like, you either can be funny yeah. or you can be or you can get girls. Yeah, or get girls. <laughs> it's like the two options. I'll be dead as honest. I think the best Halloween that I've had was when I dressed funny. I think when I like, yeah, when I when I was dressing like more provocatively, it's like fun, you, you know, like mm-hmm. you look cute and whatnot. But then when you're dressed in a stupid costume, you get the most laughs and you could act however you want and nobody's going to give a shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue dressing slutty, but thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you for that. Okay. Thank you for that testimony. Thank you, yeah. Duly noted. <laughs> Vid at the party, I see him and he was just like a zombie, like expressionless. I'm like, yo, are you having fun? He's just like, yeah, tons of fun. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> He's just like gone. Nothing. No expression. Hammer. Extremely drunk. <laughs> yeah, but what drunk, what night was it for you that week? Bro, um, I gotta say, this shit had me dying. This guy is the is the embodiment of talking the talk but not walking the walk. He's like, I'm going to get so drunk. I'm like, let's run up these shots right now then. We go to the bartender and get the shots. He looks at me. He's like, I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't want to take this shot. <laughs> hey, we doing that shit. And I was like, what do you mean take this shit? He's like, I'm really drunk. Yeah, I, was, I, was pretty, I was pretty drunk at that point and I, was, I didn't want to black out. But also, the only, the only day I've been sober this week was Wednesday. So hey, starting you're, Monday. You're, you're hey, oh, look at his eyes. His <laughs> eyes are like, uh, Who's and also, parties? he looks like t- high tally. Uh, Monday, Monday and Tuesday were I had two birthdays, so I had to go to that shit. And then Wednesday, I took a day off. And then Thursday was my friend Chase's event. Blah blah blah. Friday, we have a thing tonight. I don't think I'm going out tomorrow. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. You can decide to not go out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says this shit. Yeah. His obligation is mm-hmm. the party. Like it literally sits there hey, like man, I'm, I'm trying to around. make connections for us. What, what's <laughs> great? Are you going to? <laughs> Name a connection. Name 10 connections. I actually, <laughs> actually, there is a guy. I forgot to tell you guys. There's a guy that runs a, like a modeling agency. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, oh, that has, would actually be great. Yeah, for he has a video. lot of women that, that would want to be in YouTube videos. Oh, I was like, I was like, who you think is modeling except you? <laughs> like, uh, uh, none of us want to model. <laughs> no, no, not like for us to model. More like provide actors yeah, and actresses. Exactly. For I, know. Videos. I, I, I secured that connection. And Jeremy, what the hell? I'm over here like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could do it. <laughs> but also, um, there was a comment on the last on the last episode that was like, Vitten doesn't even talk anymore nowadays. He should become a cameraman. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just read it this morning, and then. We did. We decided to film. I'm like, 
Damn. <laughs> I'm like mad drain. Get behind the camera, man. <laughs> Get to work, buddy. <laughs> the camera, yeah. the camera yeah. flipped this way. <laughs> it's not even it's not even upright. It's, <laughs> it's on him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, uh, uh, the next scheduled question wait, 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 is. But real quick, I just want to say, as adults, right? In college, you go out for Halloween, like, it's like four parties Thursday, bro, it's every day Thursday Friday, week. Saturday. And it's funny that, because, like, I was like, once I'm out of college, I'm like, thank God. And as adults, it's a week long thing in LA. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. And then if you, if you know enough people, you get invited to a party every day. And then, like, if you're, if the influencer circles are like, close enough that people know oh there's a party happening Friday let me plan mine for Thursday yeah. or let me put mine yep. on Saturday and there's an aspect like- where sometimes I'll get invited by by people I consider my friends and then I'll be like well I can't just not show up like I feel like I have to show up to show face you got to I do agree with that but not that often <laughs> you go to every single one they're tired of seeing your face <laughs> wait you're inviting me <laughs> yesterday there was actually three parties going on really? but but for me there's no parties going on today uh, Are, have there's, you guys there's, got invited? there's a lot of there's shit going, going on, on today. Oh, i guess nobody yeah, you invited don't know. me <laughs> you know if you were actually 26 you'd probably be getting invited oh, oh. i'm 27 i did lie <laughs> One day we'll get her. We'll get the real answer for you guys. You know what I just thought about? It's like, why don't we ever team up with Eric and throw a party at his house? It's like open floor space. Because they kick you out. Like they don't do it till late. They don't rage. Oh. Like everybody, we gotta sleep. Yeah. If, if if the carrot house ended up in the same shape as Jordan's crib was, they would not be happy. Was Bro, it that, bad? No, it smelled it's, so. It bad. was a frat house type shit. Yeah. I remember. I remember. This girl was freaking on top of another girl, but like I think it like shattered the couch legs. Yeah, oh, it mean, definitely broke the couch. I mean, there was freaking. a girl sitting on the couch, and she was basically just like air fucking her, like power fucking her on the couch. <laughs> and, and everybody was standing around. It wasn't even like everyone was just like, "What the fuck?" The whole couch was just like they were Where? smashing. I was just like, "They're gonna break the furniture." <laughs> Where? Uh, Jeremy runs it like, yeah. stop! Yeah. Stop! It's not even attractive, okay? <laughs> At this point, you're just being rude. You're going to hurt the couch. <laughs> Please stop throwing it back so hard. <laughs> you're harming the furniture. <laughs> you're welcome, Jordan. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next question was, why does Wutok throw the best parties in LA? Why? Starting Be- with Esther. Uh, he has a lot of friends. He he knows everybody, and everybody <sighs> likes him. And so true. Yeah, so he true. just lots of connection. He's he knows alcohol, so he knows what people are gonna like. And what else? Terrible answer. I'll give you the oh, reasons okay. why. Oh, okay. oh shit! Oh why? shit! Your, your, your girl had to step in. Right? <laughs> <laughs> your girl was like, "Not today." <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why we talked about the best. One. I think I think it's, it's his meat. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely is not it. <laughs> Hey, uh, <laughs> I think I think it it's could because be. I, I mean it could. It tries really hard. <laughs> That's what it is. It tries hard. I, I think it's you're just very meticulous, and then you've probably been in enough like, uh, like being behind the bar. You understand like what it takes to to run a proper like system. Of, run like, a proper what the fuck? Run a proper vibe. That too, yeah. And I think you've been to enough parties that you're like, oh, I like this. I don't like that. So you figured out how to like systemize it. And then after that, just plugging and playing. It's like, all right, this this bartender was good to me. Make a good connection. Bring them. They're awesome. They'll pr- provide all that. Uh, obviously, the finance was like the hardest part, but he, he already covered all that. You found a sugar daddy. <laughs> yeah, literally fa- found found a homie who with enough money that and like the desire to party. Like he hit me up and he was like, "Yo, I want to throw a Halloween party." And I was like, "Oh man, I can't really be throwing that much bread on a Halloween." And then he was just like. I'm trying to throw a Halloween party. Yeah. Just help me plan it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, also now you, you've created this rep of like your, your party's bang, yeah. especially with the Super Bonsai. I think as a collective, a lot of people barely made out of it alive and they're like, whoa, I want to do that again. That people were crawling out of that party like they had gone through the fucking Hunger Games. Bro, <laughs> it's so funny. Jen hearing- from 949 <laughs> fell in the bushes. Warren <laughs> fell down the hill and then came back like a zombie. 
George said that the owner said, I've never seen so much throw up yeah. in my house and down the street. The neighbors complained. Yeah, but there also. Was just throw, there was like trail all the way down the hill. <laughs> oh. This is a big ass hill. And then I thought about it. One, that was one of the younger parties that they've had actually because it's usually older people throw. If you're going to get a house like that, you got to be able to afford it. Yeah. So it's like crypto parties, oh. like, you know, like big. Sh- bunch like of people, nerds. Bunch of nerds that don't know how to get fucking lit. I would never go to those old parties. But John Summit threw a sun, sun, sunset, uh, uh, sunrise set at that crib so like it's the crib gets used for big shit but then the fucking um but yeah so overall we were a younger party and then also the fucking thought of like as people walk into a party you hand them pills and you're like you're not gonna get hung over and they're like lit <laughs> i'm gonna drink too much bro yeah, yeah. that's the hugest reason yeah it's 100 percent people are like i'm safe I, and I, then this is the, by far the most i ever drank in my whole life yeah but like if you shots. throw up the pills you took then it's like probably you drink more yesterday yeah. than bonsai yeah. no 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 oh, bonsai, bonsai took oh. 19 shots plus like actual mixed drinks what the I, was fuck? I mean gone. he was like basically dead at that party he's yeah. always kind of dead yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. Honestly, last night too. Eddie, i'm pretty... the best drunk though like the problem with me being drunk is like it's just that i give up all responsibility and like i just listen all right but, well what's what is your take on why wutok throws the best parties in la Wait, we're gonna. No, that was the uh, question. Back to back to me. Back oh, you to need me. to be schlobbed more. Yeah, yeah, yeah more well, schlobbing. I thought he, I thought he schlobbed you enough. I need schlobbing enough. from every one of you one by one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, what? Like, I would. <laughs> I would. More schlobbing. Yeah. I would say it's the it's the amount of people you know. Uh, because there's well, a lot of take an answer, bro. Come on with your own one. No, that's okay. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. yeah. That's it. I mean, I'm just. Uh, agreeing, I can't mm-hmm. think of anything else. It's like he just t- he took them all and was like, "Oh, come up with your own." <laughs> <laughs> no, I took. I came up with that one. Yeah, yeah that one she, was Esther's. Yeah, yeah. 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 shows how much you listen. I would say, yeah, I'd say that's probably the. I it. think you throw good parties because they are good. Great answer. Vic. I have another one. I have Thank another you, camera one. Man. Back to the camera. For extra credit. For extra credit. Yes, yes, yes. Esther. Um, you throw the best parties because you are entertain you are entertaining them. You're not just sitting there like a like a just a normal host. Bingo. You're just like talking to everybody, going around, going, you know, doing your little rounds. Yep. Making sure everyone's drinking. Yep. Thank you. That is what I think. I think I make the effort to make sure no one feels awkward and that everyone is meeting new people and that everyone has high energy. If you think walking around with a bottle of tequila and pouring it down every single person's throat. That's what you made me do. I wasn't even going to do that. You literally forced me to do that. That had to kick it up a notch because it it was too too crowded in the concentrated area. How are you going? Hey, but time out, time out. Did you not do that in the entire Super Bonsai party unprompted by me? And did you not do that at the party? I do that every party. That's a good thing. That's a good host move. Because like the bar is packed. I I grabbed the bottle and I said, let's get everyone. It's literally like progressing the party like 30 minutes faster, you know? <laughs> you want to go home earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Drum roll, everybody. We are throwing the biggest party of the year. Two parties. Los Angeles, San Diego. Come party with us. Link in the bio. Get your tickets. They are going very, very, very fast. And I'm telling you right now, this will be the biggest party we ever threw. And I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually the number one party thrower in the world. Um, so, yes. Yes. That's true. Me specifically, and then us as a group, even better. So exactly. Yes. And so the, the it's going to be Saturday. The Los Angeles one will be Saturday, December second, at Fountain LA, and San Diego is the seventh. And depending on when this web <laughs> this episode comes out, venue might change. So, but the information will be in the description. Yeah. Regardless, the the ticket and the information and everything will be the same. Mm-hmm. So we will also be dropping our very first merch piece. Bing. Mm-hmm. So if it's sold out online, you can only get it on the tour. So come through. Yeah. And just letting you guys know, if you're coming to the one in L.A., all of our friends live in L.A. So this party is going to be super, super big. And our influencer Star friends, started. our personal friends, it's going to be wild. Suburb talk, sweet tea. I'm, f- I'm flying out my mom. <laughs> <laughs> your mom coming out on stage. <laughs> Actually, I might do that. She's so like, this. that event? Yeah. Well, no, your mom's crazy. actually coming? I might fly. Would her. she actually come wow. to the club? I think she would. Does your mom drink? They better not be trick or treating. No, right my now. mom literally gets drunk off of like less than one shot, like probably half a shot. Yeah, my mom is one glass of wine and done yeah. type person. They trick or treat in an apartment? Yeah. They better not trick or treat on my shit. I didn't sign up for that. I'd be oh. like, you get a nectar. You got a nectar. <laughs> <laughs> These seven year olds at the door, she's handing them nectar. Um, uh, Don't drink I'd too wa- much. 
much. I have one more thing about the party. Oh, yeah. We're going to be do, doing meet and greets before. First 100 people that show up will get a free ticket to the party. So long as you're 21 plus, meet and greets all ages. But you will not be able to buy the new variety pack if you are not of age. Not like you didn't know that already. You yes. youngin. You young blood, get older. Anyways, so uh, we have a bunch of party type questions. So if you're the type of person that doesn't like to go to parties, you could just learn all about them right now. But um, and if you are not good at throwing parties, yeah, if you want to start throwing parties, this is a very good guide for you. But anyways, we just went over like why I throw, what makes me a good party thrower. So like, what in general? How do you throw a good party? I throw pretty good parties, I would say. When's the last time you threw a party? When I was 22. Damn. Yeah. So, so like, like 10 last years year? ago. <laughs> huh? What? Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. I was no, exaggerating. Was, She's not that old. It's, but. yeah, 22. I, yeah, I was 22. I was 22, yeah. So uh, how did that go? It was great. Honestly, everyone was entertained. I threw on a clown costume, started <laughs> dancing. <laughs> hong, you, hong, and everyone was like, yeah. Really? And then it was over. Was no. Great. Do you actually have a real answer? No. Okay. <laughs> so, so. I think that one is there has to be good music, has to be a good mixture of men and women. Yes. Preferably more, more women. More women always. And and I think that one thing that people miss out on is like there has to be tons of alcohol, but food. Yes. Like oh, you there has to be because that that is kind of what keeps people uh, alive, alive a little and, bit longer. And, and stay at the party. Yes. I agree with that. I yeah. always have food at my parties, which make we were them supposed great. to order pizza, but me and Jordan were both pretty drunk, oh and there, then nobody was figuring out how to order pizza See, at that point. It'd be like, "Yo, you order? Okay, okay, I'll be over there." <laughs> Did you and order it? No, no, no. You go order it. Literally, and then some girl starts talking to you and just like forget. <laughs> <laughs> Did you order the pizza? No, you do it. Okay, I will. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got, it, I got. It. <laughs> Motherfucker made me Uber a, a table to his house. Uber package. Yeah, because you guys sent an Uber package without the table. Like, like that, was, that was goofy. Wait, what do you mean? You, he sent an Uber package for the cooler and not the table. Like, he didn't send them both. <sighs> man, that shit was almost 50 bucks. I was like, are you serious? You want me to send you 50 bucks, man? No, I'm okay. Okay. Then stop complaining. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, so throwing a good party. Number one, you need to know a lot of people. So if you're not the type of person that knows a lot of people, you need to partner with somebody that knows a lot of people. <laughs> you're like, don't throw one. <laughs> I mean, low key, why are you trying to throw parties? Go make some friends first. Is Eddie fucking working in the middle of a podcast? What the fuck? I'm making, I'm giving you photos, but you know what? You're good on these photos yeah, now. Yeah, sit there and be on the podcast, the fuck? What the fuck? I care about these photos. This, guy, this guy's on the podcast fucking... I, I, I know you don't know what it's like to work, but, you know, it's a never-ending thing. I don't, I don't got time like you to just stop and run a podcast. I taught you how to fucking work, first of all. Bro. I literally dragged and you look, out of your bum-ass job and master, taught you how to work. Guys, guys, old. guys, the oh. comments. The commenters. <laughs> what about them? They're gonna... I don't fucking know. <laughs> you guys They're gonna think to I have to go back to being a cameraman. <laughs> all righty, and back to the episode. Have to throw a good party. <laughs> Know a lot of people if you don't know a yes. lot of people, but you want to throw parties, literally partner with somebody who does. That's the fucking, that's the concept of a promoter at a club. Yes, sir. And, and if you're still in college, the fraternity is the best way to do it. Just but an instant the, the frats throw their own parties. So if you're not in a frat trying to throw parties. True. Join one, though. I think that's the fastest way to have access to both 100%. women and men and yeah. lots of it. Yeah. If you find a frat that you vibe with the people, it's, uh, it is a move for your social life in college. What do you, yeah, what do you do outside? Let's say you're just a, like a financial. It depends on the kind of school you go to. Some schools, like, it's hard to have a social life without the frat. And then some schools, it's like, you no, can no, no, do no. Whatever. Let's say outside of college, you're like a financial analyst and you live in like New you York. You a party. No, no, okay. New York's not a good party place because everyone goes to bars. Yeah. Let's say you live in LA and you're not really, where do you even go to start making friends if you're not like an influencer? Dude, you just go out. Like you meet it, people yeah. in the common, like in the hobbies that you enjoy, that you go out and do. Like you're gonna make a friend. Like if you like playing basketball, you'll make friends playing basketball. If you like, you know, rock climbing or whatever you do, then you just make <laughs> friends over there. What I'm saying to find lots he's of women. To, he's saying to, to throw find parties though. Yeah, to find lots oh. of women. Okay, let's say like the party doesn't have then to be to hundreds bar, of people. Even if you wanted to throw like a good fifty person party, it's hard to find. 30 females, 20 guys, you know. Just put what it on mean? Craigslist. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't do that. But you like, like crackheads show up? No, that's how that's like the plot of a horror movie. Like you put your <laughs> yeah. fucking 
mm. party on Craigslist. Here's the real thing that makes a party lit is you have to provide everything. Yeah. That's how you get people to pull up to your party. If you're throwing a BYOB in your <laughs> apartment, oh hell you know. Nobody's coming to that shit unless they're your close friends and you have ob- and they have obligation like it's your yeah. birthday, you know, then they'll come. But if you're just trying to throw a party like a Halloween party, you need to finance everything. And that yeah. is exactly what makes a party, what makes people want to go. It's like free party, all of these things being provided, like open bar, DJ, yeah. blah, blah, blah. It's a t- it's the type of party that has security, you know, like. That is so true. If someone is telling me to bring my own shit, I'm like, I'm why not Why would going. I go? I could go to the exactly. bar. Like, exactly. what the fuck? Yeah. I could go to the club. With people I actually like, because I don't even know who's coming to the exactly. party. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Who started the BYOB shit? Uh, it's just the budget way to have a party. It, yeah. it was good when you're in college, you know what I mean? And yeah. like nobody has money. But now that you're older, yeah. like why would you? And why you don't you want to throw, throw parties every weekend. Like throw, throw a banger one for like a big event, yeah. you know? How many people did you single-handedly invite versus they took that link and then it just spread to all their friends? Mm. Probably like I invited maybe like 80 and then... 80? No, no. I would say at least half the list was invite between me and Jordan probably like 90% me and then the, and then but even the people they're spreading it to is like I know a lot of them yeah there's very few people there that I've never met before Ooh, question what have you denied a what's oh, called an RSVP because you knew that person you didn't like them yeah hell yeah a lot that's another that's another factor of it is um, mm. curating the vibe. So if I yeah. know that, especially, and also this is my party. Yeah. I could have no reason to not like you, but if I don't like you, you're not coming to my fucking party. Yeah. Funny story alert. Wow. When we, the first one we threw at Jordan's, the uh-huh. very first one, uh, security had somehow let some random dude into the party and he was super drunk and aggressive. No, and that somehow, was the second one we threw at Jordan's. Got it. And yeah. somehow I ended up in the kitchen talking to him yeah. and then all of a sudden I'm drunk as hell. I'm talking to him one moment, he's too close to my face, and the next moment he has me in a headlock. <laughs> and I'm just like, but I'm like trying to keep calm because I'm like, I don't I don't think he knew what he was doing. He was so out of his mind. And I'm like looking at the security guard and I'm like <laughs> and the security guard's like, oh shit. <laughs> Grabs the guy and like nobody knew who he was. He just yeah. walked in. That's no, no, no. Crazy. He was somebody's brother. Yeah. He was like a friend of a friend of a friend's brother. So it was like guy wasn't even supposed to be there, low key. Just got invited off of a chance and then mm. started bugging out. Even funnier part of that story is that once they drag this guy out, he gets into a beef with Jordan. Oh, and who's the jo- homeowner? Yeah, yeah, and who owns the crib? And then Jordan starts beating the fuck out of him, and then and then Vit also jumps in, and they're just literally stomping this guy out. <laughs> I outside. saw that. Yeah. I saw that. And then my boy Chris walks over, who was like sipping a drink out of a solo cup, and literally like this guy's on the floor trying to get up while getting stomped out by fucking Jordan and Vit, and then Chris comes over and just bonks the cup off of his head and walks away. <laughs> That's funny. That must have hurt. The cup is a solo cup. The stomping out probably hurt a lot. I was more. gonna say the man. What the fuck? Yeah. Why do I care about a cup? But uh, but yeah. So uh, the other yeah, those are the two factors. It's like if you want to throw an actually good lit party, you need a venue that can support. You need to know the logistics, like where to set up the bar, where to have the DJ to like maximize dance floor, like where to have areas to sit, where to set up games like pong, you know, and then um. And then also like figure out like make sure number one that the venue's not getting shut down. So like how are you what are you gonna do about noise complaints? Mm. So Jordan like texted all his neighbors first and was mm. like, Oh really? Hey, we're throwing a party. Uh if you have complaints, like please just let me know and I'll like, you know, work to solve it rather than calling the police. And they're all like, Yeah, hell yeah. So oh, it's wow. like yeah. Well, That's does rough, he invite though. them to the party too? He does, but they're like forties and like they're not coming, you know. Yeah. So it's just like a good faith, you know. That's nice of him. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But it's also like psychological. You're not gonna shut down a party you are invited to, you know? True, true. Yeah. What would you uh what would you say is a good starting budget for a hundred person party? How how and old then, are you? And then yeah, yeah, it depends on how old you are, what the purpose of this is. House party. Jordan, wait, how many people showed up at Jordan's? Let's just use that as the Let's measure. say 150 throughout the whole Okay, night. 150. Uh, a budget and how much amounts of alcohol are you buying to supply that night? That was like $1,500 of alcohol. Could have been like slightly less. But how like it would have been more without nectar. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like if we had to buy all that nectar, like it would have been a lot more. But how many, but like how many bottles did you end up? Like I'm trying to get a sense of like we how much. We went through probably like 30 bottles of liquor. Really? Yeah. 30 Damn. liter bottles of liquor. Damn. Because we had 24 liter bottles of tequila that are all gone. I actually pre-gamed pretty... I, I pre-gamed and I drank a lot before I came really? there, so I couldn't. I couldn't even drink that much. I got. I took my first sip of alcohol at that party, but um, but yeah, 
Nectar, was Nectar was a big Nectar is a big part of being able to throw these parties. Mm -hmm. Nectar and Super Bonsai is a big part of being able to throw these parties because it gives us reason to. Yeah, uh -huh. it's like uh -huh. marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta get it in the people's hands. Yeah, <laughs> that was very nice of Jordan to throw a party in. Front yeah, of it. Jordan loves throwing parties. Yeah, you know he loves throwing parties when he doesn't know half the people there. Yeah, and yeah he's yeah. still having a great time. Having a, but Jordan's that guy that loves that shit. He, yeah. doesn't, he doesn't care who it is. Like he just has a good time. Yeah. That's why I like partying with Did him. Did he find somebody that night? Huh? Did he find somebody that night? Uh, he was just with the girl he's been talking to. Oh. You know, like the good Christian man he is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Anyways, um, what a, what a, yeah, so finance it. Like, make it a reason for people to come. Have somebody that has a lot of friends and and understand people's reputations. Like, if you're going to bring somebody that is just a slime bag, uh, it'll literally make other people leave. And, like, oh, yeah. par party politics <laughs> exists, right? So, like, imagine a 100-person party, right? And there's a group of 10 girls that are going to come. That's 10% of the entire party and probably 20% of all the women there. If there's one guy there that has beef with one girl in that group mm. that makes the whole group leave, mm. your party dynamic has shifted. Now there's more guys than girls. And now there might be more aggressive issues and situations and blah, blah, blah. Mm. And the more girls than guys thing is not like, a, oh, guys want to fuck. It's like literally like it makes a better party. Like mm. too many guys makes it like aggro competition, especially if you all don't know each other. Like it could it's way higher risk of drama and fighting. And then, you know, I feel it. Girls are just, yeah, I, feminine I would, energy is more fun. I would say the layout is also important because if it's too loud and you can't actually meet anybody, like there needs to be an area where you can have a, like a, at where least you can a retreat to. Yeah. And you can have a conversation with three people and exactly. hear everybody or else Dance it's just floor like, plus ex auxiliary rooms. Yeah. You can still hear music, but talk. Also super important bathrooms yes. there has to be multiple bathrooms because the minute that that everyone starts to break their seal yep. it's like they're pissing everywhere and it just sucks los angeles and san diego we are throwing our biggest parties yet as part of our where my hug at tour where it at december 2nd is in la at fountain la and december 7th is in san diego at bang bang san diego yeah tickets are on sale right now link in the description our past parties were so crazy that a lot of people showed up and couldn't get in so buying a ticket will ensure you get into the party we're also launching the new nectar variety pack we're gonna be doing meet and greets during the day before the club event so please come through to the daytime your support means everything if we blow these out ralph's will open us up to over 200 stores at every meet and greet there's a lot of people who show up really early so to reward you all the first 100 people in line are going to get a bunch of special giveaway prizes including tickets to the night event free super bonsai bottles and pieces from our very first merch drop the QT's hat and much much more so this is our home turf we're bringing out hella special guests like suburb talks sweet tea the north star boys Jimmy Zhang, BTS, Taylor Swift, Brad Pitt, Beyonce. And you guys are just gonna have to figure out which ones we're lying about. Tickets are going fast, so get them right now. Link in the description so you can give me my hug. Where it at? Venue, where you're throwing the party really matters. Mm. Yep. And you can throw a party at a commercial venue, but like mm. if you wanna get into throwing parties, a good thing to do is go to a bar or club and and like, you gotta be that guy though. You gotta have a network of people to bring or that girl. Like you cannot just decide one day, oh, I don't really have that many friends, but I wanna throw parties. Like you gotta just be set up to be that person. Yeah. And then like go to like a club and be like, hey, your Thursday nights are not lit. Like let's brand your Thursday nights. I'm gonna bring at least a hundred people in here Thursday nights. Give us a drink deal, right? Or like give me tables to comp and like I'll get the right crowd in here that like your sales will be at least double what they are now. Do, do you know what Aaron used to do in college? So Aaron was a DJ and he was in a fraternity and what he would do, like his career got bigger than just his fraternity. He would go to other colleges around Texas and play and whatever. So yeah, he did exactly that, but he would then also go around to, uh, Austin, Texas became kind of like a startup tech hub and he would go to local startups that wanted college kids to download their app. And he'd be like, you give me money, I'm gonna get 2000 kids to download your app to go to this party. Mm. And so he would get like, and then he would, after he was successful at that, he would then be like, instead of giving me money, if I get you X amount of downloads, you give me X number of dollars he did, per download. He did that for GeoJam, which is the house that we threw the party mm -hmm. at. Yeah, mm -hmm. And he was really successful at it. So that is a smart thing to go to a venue that needs bodies. 100%. Yeah. And uh, so if you're, if you're the kind, like, let's say you're, you know, you graduate from college, you have a lot of friends locally, like you had uh, this whole Greek life network or something, right? And, you th and you're like, hey, I could do this. Like, honestly, start taking your talents to these clubs and bars. You could make some money, probably not much, but like, 
you'll have a great time curating. Being the host of a party is a very powerful networking tool because everyone wants, if you throw good parties, everyone mm -hmm. wants to go to your parties. The way my phone blows up before a party is crazy. Like people like begging, can yeah. I please get this person? <laughs> do, I'll do anything, please. And like, I'm like, I don't even know you. Like, really? Yeah, like people DMing me for the first time ever being like, hey, I don't know you, but uh, I'm, I'm like still waiting on the RSVP list. Do you think you can let me? And I'm just like, it's crazy how bad people want to get, get into it. I get I get caught in the crossfire. Yeah. <laughs> try, try it again. It's okay. I get, I get caught in the crossfire. I yeah. have people calling me like, "Can you tell Wu Talk to add me to the list?" I'm like, "Why would you just like not text them?" Yeah. And they're, they're like, "I tried. He ignored me." I lie. I go. I go. Let me check. I mean, it's gonna be super hard. I wait five <laughs> minutes. I go. Don't hit up anybody. I go. Damn. They said no. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> no people. People yeah. ask me too, but um, I go like, "I'm hey, scared." Hey, you lied to me. I said I, I'm scared of Wu Talk. You lied to me about what? She said her, she was like, can you add my, also, I would have just my added, cousin? yeah, I would have oh, just yeah, added yeah, him yeah, to yeah. the list if you had yeah. just said add my friend to the list. Yeah. But she goes, can you add my cousin to the list? I'm like, how come I've never heard of a cousin that lives in LA? That's weird. <laughs> Wait, I do have a cousin that lives in okay, LA. Okay, well, either way, I've never heard of a guy, like a guy that would come to a party. Yeah. There's no way he hasn't I, been to a party I had before. To, I, had to, I had to lie because I was, I was like, I'm scared of Wu Talk. I'm scared, <laughs> I'm scared to ask him who I could bring. What the fuck? <laughs> I would have I just said yes. It's her friend's boyfriend, yeah. right? So she's probably thinking, oh, he doesn't doesn't want some random girl's boyfriend at this party, which you're yeah. right. But it's, you literally told me, you literally told me that you didn't want, you didn't want that. So I was like, "Damn, Grace, uh, no, I <laughs> sorry." That's, it would have been fine, but yeah, she lied to me and said it was her cousin. I told and her then no he dropped the ball immediately. They get out the car, and then Grace is like, "Hi, this is Anthony." I was like, "Oh, Esther's cousin," and, and he goes, "No, I'm Grace's boyfriend." And then I go, "Oh, I knew she lied to me. Like it was so obvious." Like. <laughs> Fucking Grace, I'll beat your ass when I get home. You should be, you should be <laughs> his ass. No, should be was, his no ass. Grace immediately was like, what the fuck? You're supposed to be <laughs> Esther's cousin. <laughs> Anthony, I'll beat your ass. Re respect for him being just straight up. Yeah. yeah. But it almost felt like he was like, this is mine. Like, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Don't he, do. he rather not get into the party yeah, than yeah. No, because I man, dude, sometimes I, I be telling my my girlfriends like, eh, hey, like it's better for you, us to have like a girls' night type shit, you uh -huh. know? And hey, why oh, so you wanna leave the mans at home? Yeah. Justice okay. for my man. No, listen, it was supposed to be it was supposed to be like six of the girls dressed in SWAT costume and then he comes up in a cop costume. Yeah. Come on, man. Like oh, it's so you're saying like he not, ruined the vibes. No, it is. It's just like, you know, like Hey, what what really happens on a girls' night out? We don't do anything crazy. It's just that it's just like a girl. Like we like, we we just like being. Yeah. Well, no, no, you're good. Don't get distracted. Oh, uh, what the fuck? That was some loud noise. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like the vibes that like when it's just us girls, like me, <sighs> like. It's different vibes, period. What's the, vibes? What's the vibes? What's the difference? Why can't the, the guys okay, join in on the okay, vibes? No, no. Think about this. Like, we're doing girl shit, and then he's just there standing there the whole time. Like, it's gonna cheating? Kill my, it's, <laughs> <laughs> no. What is girl shit? Yeah, what's cheating? girl shit? What could girls it's, possibly do dude, that I guys swear, can't also do with I, you? I, I swear, Except for flirt with men. Can I say something? I'll, I'll let you yeah, talk. Yeah. I dead ass hate it when women laugh. You know why? What? What's so funny? <laughs> cheating? <laughs> cheating? What if, what? Okay, what if? Dude, no, no. Dead ass, dead ass. I've had this thing where it would be like me and my hey, girlfriend. Did I talk enough for you, you stupid commenter? <laughs> <laughs> He's so salty. Yeah, she heard him. That shit hurt him so much. Hey, right left that right in this camera. Right yeah, in this yeah, camera. Yeah. Whoever left that comment, we got a prize for you. <laughs> yeah, hey, hit me up. I got to learn a thing or two from you how you get this guy going. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, basically, like me and my friends, we're going out, right? And we're just at a bar, like a Korean bar eating and like eating and drinking, whatever. Korean bar and talking then, to Korean guys. Oh, my God. There's no guys. <laughs> Okay, and then let okay. This has Pony happened. Chiwa. This has happened multiple times when one of the girls would bring their guy friends, right? Yeah. And and literally he's just there like sitting down like this, not not saying anything, right? But just killing the vibe because you know he's not having fun yeah, yeah, yeah. with the girls. Oh, Why is he care? But that's what I'm saying is when you bring one guy to a group of six girls, that's weird. But there's only one boyfriend. Does I he agree, invite but himself or she invite him? She um, invites him probably. But he's probably the type of guy that gets like, eh, he, he wanted go. he wanted to come because he didn't, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, hey, yeah. I, I'll be honest, I've hung out with the only guy, a bunch of group of girls. It's not that bad. It's not. Yeah, I, I can have fun, but yeah, I know I certain guys do ruin the vibe, and I he's get cool, why. Though. No, he's cool. No, he's no, cool. I get it. But in an all girls night, right? I get why you would want to have whatever but what's why not bring three guy friends? you have two yeah. guy friends right here you have three guy you have four guy friends right yeah. here you were <laughs> what say it 
Why don't we get invited? Oh, you want to be invited? Say it. Slay Say it. bitches. Hey, why, why do you actually gatekeep your friends from us? Oh, I mean, first of all, you've met most of my friends and you don't like them. <laughs> so oh. you can't blame me for this. True, actually. Yeah. You know what? I retract my statement. Wait, then, you have bad friends. Huh? You have bad friends. Have you don't. Friends. You don't even tell us about them. You literally. Those are on reserve. Like what what, one mean? day randomly, it'll come up. Like, oh yeah, my uh, friend this, and I'm like, who's that? What oh the, no, like, no no no! Who's but, that? No, but no, but to be honest, I don't hang out. Like, I have my main group of friends that uh -huh. I hang out with, and then the people that like. Um, you wouldn't want to ruin your main friend group, anyways. Yeah. But like, also, I don't hate your friends. Yeah, I like your friends. <laughs> I've always been nice to your friends. No, you guys are all nice to yeah. my friends. Yeah, right. but I'm just saying. I'm just saying that you guys aren't attracted to them. Like, How do you know? Well, you, you guys I could me. convince myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all have different tastes, right? I could, I could. And I know, I know, I know your guys' types. And then, yeah. And then, second of all, the ones that like you guys do find attractive, uh, th I don't hang out with them like that. Yeah, you're that. not like cool yeah, with no, them like that. I'm, yeah, I'm not always hanging out with them. S build those relationships, and in three months, let's revisit this conversation. <laughs> oh my God, oh. they're such whores. No, and not, I'm trying to find a wife. Dude. All, in, all in all, to say, I'm very excited for the LA party because we'll get a. To have a big enough venue to invite all yes. the, the cuties, QTIs. All the cuties. Oh, yes, yes. I thought you were talking about. No, women. I meant the, Q, the, the <laughs> UTI. I was like, damn, Jeremy, who when did this side come, <laughs> right yeah. come out? So, yeah, we got to invite the cuties. Hey, do y'all have uh, any headache medicine? Uh, I, have, I have Advil in my. Can you give me some? Yeah. I can, I'm about to get a migraine. I can tell. You can tell when you're about to get a migraine. Yeah, I start like seeing like sparkles and shit. Do you have like? Can you? Is that is that different from like a regular headache for you, or do you just call? Is every headache so painful that it's a migraine? Um, I I don't remember the last time I had a migraine. I think this is because I've been drinking all week. Mm. All right, I think I think the last time I so I used to have them a lot in high school because I refused to wear my glasses, so I was just oh, strain, straining straining my eyes uh every day. But it was also cool because I went to the nurse and I was just like, I have a migraine again. And I could just sleep through the day. Mm. You miss your nursey? Your nursey worsey? <laughs> Poor little camera man. You want me to nurse Can you? Take one? No, take like three of them. You want me to nurse you? Stop, man. Why? You don't like it? <laughs> no, it's making me bi curious. <laughs> <laughs> we all have drunk alter egos. What is everyone here's drunk alter ego? Can we say our what what ours is? Let's say first? what we think ours is. Yeah, and yeah. Then everyone please. will. So I could defend myself. You know what? Okay, then let's start with Esther. Defend yourself. Yeah. Um. When I'm drunk, I'm either like super super loud, or I, not I, either. Always. Okay. Always. Always loud, or I'm aggressive. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Hundred. But there's more to it. You become very funny here. More funny. Like it's like joke after joke after joke after joke, and then it, yeah, and then but it's screaming it at the the loudest decibel. Yeah, yeah, and then she'll laugh at her own jokes in like a in her unfiltered laugh. Aggressive I'm, for sure, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm she, funny. She becomes like the Tasmanian devil to me. Yeah, yeah, mm. it's almost like chaotic fun. You know that that graph of like chaotic good, chaotic evil, mm -hmm. and then chaotic neutral, and then like yeah. What am yeah. I chaotic? What? No, chaotic. I'm saying that if there was another category of chaotic fun, like oh. it's just like like you're a good time when you're drunk. Yeah. You're Good drunk, you got so yeah. much energy. Yeah, or I turn into the devil. <laughs> Bro, like I see nothing behind your eyes. I, I love seeing that <laughs> when, like, I see like Some, the soul has left the eye. Yes, the, the player has left. Yeah, <laughs> but I remember the player's AFK. It's the NPC yeah. mode. All right, what is what is Eddie's alter drunk alter I'll tell ego? You what I think mine is. What is it? It's just like susceptible. <laughs> susceptible, just being susceptible, like a baby yeah. lamb. You literally, that's what, yeah, like baby lambs. Like, Get like bro, do anything. I, I reverted back into my like younger like self. I was, I got mad because of what happened to me. I'll explain that later. But then I fucking punched the bush, and I was like minking that shit. And then we talked turns me around. He's like, stop it, stop it right now. I'm like, <laughs> I saw that video. Wait, what, bro? I had to give this guy a motivational speech to. He lost his fucking, or not lost, somebody took it and misplaced it probably, but he lost like a bunch of shit, like his car keys, right? A uh, lot of things. I have a very good explanation for being that mad though. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's, he lost a bunch <laughs> of shit, right? And then somebody took, opened his car trunk and like, it was just like being violated, right? And then he's so mad, he just starts swinging on the hedge. He's like, like actually like fighting it. And then I'm like, stop. Because one wasn't enough, bro. I did yeah. it and I was like, I need more. Like, I need to punch somebody. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I had to give him like literally like a 20 minute talk of like, stop punching the bush. 
Your keys are gone, but there's nothing we could do about it right now. I'm like, I gotta come back here tomorrow. So <laughs> you have your spare at home, like giving him like the play by play. And he's like, I'm right. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Wait, were you laughing or was this serious? No, I was being dead ass because we were trying to like leave and he's sitting there mad as fuck, like not listening to anyone. So I had to like basically give him the game plan. Like, this is what we're doing. Everything's going to be okay, but we got to go. I like, think before that though, you're su- you get super excited. You're super dead. Like, like before you get super drunk where you're like all over the place emotionally, you're, you're, you're a very uh, happy drunk. Oh, uh, yeah, no, 100%. I mean, I love I love having the camera in my hands when I'm drunk. It's so much fun. She's like, I love alcohol. No, no, no. <laughs> I love being drunk. I, I, just, I just love, I love like, commanding commanding people to, like, yo, do this, do this, do this. And it's like, what commanding. the Commanding. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. It's you could have used the word directing, but commanding. It's commanding. It's like, hey, do that to that person right now. Yeah, that's called directing. Commanding. No, commanding. Hey, we're like, trying to save it. you, man. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're throwing has, you a... He has a key. It's like a life raft, and he's like, keeps hitting it out the way out. I'll I swim to shore. <laughs> <laughs> he stabs the life raft. Yeah, the yeah. last one, he just deflated that shit. <laughs> I've actually almost never, not never, okay. Like 80% of the time I see Eddie, he's drunk and there's nothing behind those eyes. Ever. Literally. Yeah. And, but then it's like, and he's I a lightweight to him, too, so that doesn't help. I talk Bro, to him, I, but his eyes late. are gone and he's just like, <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa! I've never like, done that. You OD yes, right now. No, I would never look at you <laughs> like that. No, no. When, <laughs> I, when I would talk to him, be like, "Oh, Eddie, you're drunk," and he'd be like, "Huh?" <laughs> no, 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 dead no. ass. You're you're gone. And then I'll ask you like, "Oh, Eddie, you're drunk yesterday," and then you'll be like, "No, I wasn't." I'm like, yeah, yeah, he always be fronting like he wasn't like, fucked I'm up. Like, this like guy everyone didn't gone. see. Dude, I was I was fucked up. I wasn't like blacked out. Everyone kept saying, "Yo, you blacked out." I'm like, "No, I did not black." Trust but that's me, how drunk you seemed. Is that I? If I was like, if I was behaving like that, I'd have to be blacked out. I, I felt like almost like a cerebral, cerebral palsy type moment in the end of the night where I couldn't speak. I, <laughs> like, I was like, I was like, yeah, cause, like I was, so you remember that in uh, the Wolf of Wall Street when when he got yeah, so the, the quaalude, quaalude? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the he's loop. like it's the cerebral pal- palsy moment. You start <laughs> or you at the super bonsai party, bro? Hey, this. This man was on it, the worst part is that he's on camera because him and Jimmy were going around I don't doing, talk a, about doing it. a segment and he's there's one part he's talking to some some girl and he's like <laughs> and she literally is like awkward smile like what <laughs> and then he's like says the same mumble again <laughs> and then she goes like what like like now she's like getting kind of tired of it she's like oh I'm not gonna understand this yeah, guy at all I, in my defense <laughs> that was the first time I ever blacked out for real mm. I've never really? felt. Yeah. I hate that moment when you're when you kind of snap into how drunk you are and you're struggling to say words. Yes. It's like Bro, feels I, like cement. You're just like, I need to go home. I don't go home. <laughs> yeah. I continue drinking. <laughs> I remember on the phone with him about the whole car situation, and he's like, "Where are you?" I'm like, "I'm trying to look for my fucking keys." <laughs> Wait, what? That's exactly how he sounds. Fucking keys. <laughs> Wait, who? I'm like, you. I'm like, all my muscles are not working talk. with me. It's like he's trying really hard to I'm, speak. Bro, I'm like concentrating on every syllable. Like, yeah. all right, come on, you're going to do this. I'm trying to look for my fucking keys. Uh. <laughs> what are you, get, get out of here, man. You gotta look. I'm like, no, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's Jeremy's drunk alter ego? I think I've only seen it once. Hold on, hold on. Let Jeremy defend himself. I would say I'm a happy drunk, and then once mm-hmm. I cross a certain point, I'm a sleepy drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's, a very it's literally drunk. happy. Yeah, it's it's euphoric to uh to to dead. Yeah, you have no I'm in between. Just a corpse. He's yeah, very no. happy. Oh, he gets clueless, bro. Anytime you ask, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? I'd have to be like shit can. <laughs> yeah, you, you become useless after a certain point. But I I have like a crazy homing beacon. If I'm I'm like actually blacked out. Always. Like, I'll get home and then just like wake up on like the floor with all my clothes. Like, how to get here? How do you how ever like? I've never blacked out and woken up like on the floor next to my bed. He's a he's a he's he's odd. Remember in Vegas when his, he was like fucking his pants were off. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's the no, they were, they were off. His, and in the fact ankles. that we we detectivized that shit, we were like, all right, he, his shit is by his ankle. Oh wait, that shit has tied there. He must have gave up at this point. Yep. <laughs> like it's like it is difficult to get it off. Like he Dude, was so drunk he couldn't get his pants off in college like and just that. like yeah, in college and outside of college. Like notoriously, like I would wake up in my bed butt ass naked <laughs> and I would be like and I'd be like what the fuck 
And then I'd look around, no clothes. Where's my phone? Where's my keys? And then like I would find them like maybe my keys were on the like on the driveway into the house, pants in the kitchen. Someone and my roommate would be like, dude, you were like half naked on the couch. It's like, okay, I fell asleep on the couch, somehow made it to my bed. It was just like it was like that all the time for me. So imagine you were the bottom half naked, because usually half naked means you have your boxers on, right? Nah, but it was a lot of time bottom half <laughs> naked. <laughs> Yes, I swear. And one time my roommate said, one time my roommate said uh, in college, he saw me sitting at the dinner table like this, and then I had no pants on, nothing. I just had my shirt on, sitting, and I was sleeping like this, and he said I went to bed earlier that night, so I got up. Usually I think it's when I have to go pee. So you take your whole pants off when you pee? I'm blacked out. I, he's one of the kids He's at a urinal yeah. With his pants around his ankles Being like That's crazy you know, you know like What if his brain goes like Oh we gotta start our day Like, <laughs> like it's, it's like Literally fucked up everything I got a crazy story So I used to live with uh, Gang Wang The guy yeah, in the orange I think room. I know what story Yeah so about. I used to live with Gang Wang And I had I, I had the room Closest to the living room And after I'd moved out, someone else took over that room. One night, I go out with Gang Wang. I go out with Gang Wang. We come back, and I'm blacked out, and he puts me to bed on the couch. And the next morning, I, like, come to, and I'm like, I'm like, whoa, this kind of, oh. And I snap, up, I snap out of it, and I'm in my old room. But, again, I don't live there, so I'm in, my, in his roommate's room. But I'm in the bed alone, and the room is a mess. It looks like I just, like, hit every, like, knocked every book off the shelf, and I'm just like, oh, fuck. And then I, like, and uh, I, I go out, and I, I, I don't have, I don't, I only have my boxers on, and I'm just like, where are my clothes? They're not in the room. So I, like, walk out to the living room, and I creep out. His roommate's sleeping on the couch. Oh, God, you came into it. That means, that means that I came home, fell asleep in his bed, and he just was felt too awkward to get me out of bed. Aww. And all my clothes are on the living room. So I, like, collect my clothes. And as I'm, like, tiptoeing out, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to go to the back house where gang gang sleeps. And as I'm, like, I'm, like, going through his kitchen, like, the floor is kind of wet. I'm like, what the fuck? And I have all my clothes, and I go to, I go to, I go to <laughs> gang's room, and I, like, wake him up, and I'm like, yo, yo, dude. I think I got up from the... You put me to bed on the couch. I think I slept in your roommate's room. He's like, dude, you fucking idiot. And I was like, my Uber's outside. I got to go. So I left. <laughs> I get home. And like three hours later, he calls me. He goes, what the fuck? Did you piss on my kitchen floor? <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> and I'm like, there's... Every time I hear yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. So apparently, I think... Drunkenly, I got up from the couch, tried to pee in his trash can, pissed all over the floor, and then just like my my muscle memory went into my old room, and I went to bed. And his roommate, from his roommate story, was like, "Yeah, dude, I came home and there was the fucking guy in my bed, so I just slept on the couch." I was what like, "What a chill guy!" Yeah, I was like, "If that was me, I would have grabbed me. Yeah, I would have grabbed me." Did you do that with the books? Yeah. Definitely. Who else would have? I think Literally. I just fell in. Like, hey, because a- the room was arranged differently than where my bed was supposed to be. Don't put your bookshelf there. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Are you like a serial peer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me let me tell you a story that'll elaborate on that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Real quick before he tries to falsely defend himself. Okay. We were in New York. Um, like, oh th- hell no! No, no, no! no. <laughs> I have evidence. You, you sit there. Let me you pull this there. evidence up. No, no, no. Yeah, you find your evidence. Well, I tell the story. We're in New York. We go out um, to fucking like dense. Like we just went out. We're like clubbing, whatever, right? <laughs> and then and then he wakes the next the next day. I had to link up with them, so I go to their hotel. Him and Dalsy are sharing a room, and then I get there and like someone shower. He's showering, so like no, me and Gang are sharing a room. Oh, you and Gang? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was you and Gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then so he gets into sh- he's in the shower. So I get there and Gang is like putting away his clothes and shit. Gang goes over to his suitcase and he's like, "Why are my clothes wet?" Oh no bro. way! And then he's like, picks up his clothes and he's like, "Bro, he's like they're all soaked." He's like, "What the fuck?" And then he goes and he's like, "Yeah, it's like almost like someone just poured water all over here." And then he smells it and he's like, "This is not water." And he's like, "What?" the fuck and then and then also gang was more drunk than jeremy was though that night so then but gang is like yo jeremy did this shit before when we lived together he would come home and pee in places that is not the bathroom and he was saying that was like a a thing jeremy did that jeremy was known for (laughs) 
and and then so now I'm learning that Jeremy is a serial pisser Bro, when he's blacked and, out. No, and then, he's wait, abnormal, dude. Wait, no. And then Jeremy now comes out the shower after we've fucking basically been like putting the pieces together, right? Because it's like putting me, together Brando, a lie. me, Brando, Dalsy, and Gang sitting in a room, like basically detective working, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, he comes out and the gang immediately goes, yo, did you piss in my suitcase? And he goes, oh. He's like, I'll pay for it. <laughs> no, I, I didn't say that. You did at the beginning. But, yeah, you did say that. Immediately oh yeah, oh yeah. But then you were shocked. Yeah. But then, but then I snapped to it. I was like, Wait a second. You were way drunker than me. Look at this photo. This is this is this is me at the at the. This is this is gang. That's how. That's where he was. Motherfucker was five a.m. Up. No, I know. No, but, but it, dude, but then, I had to walk. It. Look, 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 look at the look at the beginning of the video. And I put those chopsticks in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's how drunk he was. No, Man, but gangs could not walk. known. But gangs not known. Yeah, to gang pee. doesn't do that. And then that was who gangs. knows? So listen, these, these were the these were the arguments happening at the time. <laughs> Jeremy's argument is no way it was me. You were this drunk. I wasn't as drunk as you. Second argument was gang was like I've never ever pissed. Anywhere besides the bathroom, you do this on the regular. No, no, not the regular. It's happened to me. That was one time I did compared it. To the re- compared to a regular human being, you not, do it on the regular. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I believe gang because I believe gang as well. Comment, comment down below. Hold on, let me just walk up. No, and make show it. No, this. no, just hey, okay, editor. A, let's put it on the yeah, screen. Yeah, the I video do. of gang. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Gang no, because was. you know. <laughs> hey, hey, send it right now. Because you're saying that you weren't that drunk, right? The he was is, just as drunk, yeah, just gang was more drunk. Exactly. Yeah. But the thing is, for me too, when I'm like drunk and like people are like, oh, Esther, you were fucking drunk. And I'm like, no, I remember. Sometimes I don't remember. Yeah. So I'm just like, Jeremy, like you Dude, could be like drunk ask, and okay, ask, but you be forgetting stuff. No, too. no, no. Ask, there was a dinner. Uh, we No, you you weren't there anymore. You left with your shoddy, you dirty dog. Whoa. I, was with Matt. I was with Matt from Apollo who does not drink. <laughs> He is sober, and he was sitting right next to me, and he saw how drunk Gang was. Yeah, but that sober man, I'm it's that the same sober, a sober man accounts for the level of drunk that I was, and I was like, "We you ate, were, you were drunk, and then I took him home, and I went to bed. I have and a whole recollection drunk, of the and night. Then you drunkenly sleepwalked and went and pissed in and Gang's I'm, suitcase." <laughs> After I put, you saw how drunk he was. You don't think that No, no, he, this is what dude, I think happened. I don't yeah. think you were drunk enough to walk home and then immediately piss in a suitcase, right? I think what you what happened was you went to sleep, yep. woke up to go use the bathroom, and you were just drunk enough that you just did it in his suitcase because you're in a new environment. You're probably in a drunken stupor having just woken up out of your slumber. What Time out, time out, time out. I'll also, just understand that the bed layout was set up like... If this is, if you walk into the hotel, if you walk into the hotel room, he's the furthest bed with his suitcase over there. I'm here with a bathroom Bro. behind me. You also, of, uh, you also all, paid for his dry cleaning. Out of, out of everyone? Because he was a bitching. And I'm like, dude, if this is affecting you that much, he was you, bitching. You put, you his dude, his his I didn't okay. piss on Dude, dude, out of you guys are you guys are accusing me. Dude, we should have tested the urine. Look, 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 I, I, I tasted it. It didn't even taste like mine. Dude, out of out of everyone in that room, only one has a history of peeing history in places. History one time before. That's history. That's history. That's, that's not history. One that's time history. before that's is history. See, that's the thing. Like, even if I'm drunk, I know not to pee in someone's suitcase. So do I. Or, or a floor in and general. And so do I. No, you yeah. don't. <laughs> you peed on gang's you don't. kitchen no, floor. No, I didn't. You we guys also, had a, we also had a homie in college who would do this shit all the time. Like, he was all a serial. All the time. I've never done this all the time. Pisser. But like he, but like that's what I'm saying. It's possible because like he, the, what, how it would happen to him is not like while he's awake, he would go to sleep and then wake up to go pee and then like not know where he's going to pee. So he pissed in his roommate's closet once. This is Mike, by the yeah, way. Yep. And then and then one time his roommate was awake while he was asleep, drunk as shit. He gets up and then and he he sees it happening. So he's like Mike. And it, it, no answer, right? He's like, oh, fuck, he's not Sleepwalking. there. Sleepwalking. Sleepwalking. And then he goes to start peeing on the floor of their room. So he, and he starts it. The stream starts. So the, the guy jumps out of his fucking bed, grabs, grabs the garbage kick, can. the cock. <laughs> no, yeah, what the, why do you always got to go there, man? Just, Just funny. <laughs> It'd be funny to <laughs> grab it by the spigot, you funny, know? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty funny. <laughs> he blows up. <laughs> funny. Hey, Jeremy's he also known. To stop. Train. Hey, he's also Grab known to dip. be a sleepwalker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but anyways, he had to move. He had to move a garbage can into his line of piss to catch the piss. 
I have a crazy story like that. My roommate in college. Where you peed in his No, closet? no, no. My roommate in college did this over and over and over, but he shared a room with the other roommate. So he peed on his other roommate's shit. <laughs> and one time, the other roommate woke up and, and was like, I'll just change the name. He was like, he was like, Bob. And Bob was drunkenly standing over the corner of his bed. He was like, Bob. Bob and Bob takes his pants off and starts peeing on his bed and he just socks him <laughs> as hard as he can out of it and he falls over and just starts peeing all over himself. Oh, nah. Yeah, but then he had to buy him a new mattress and everything. That's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. How would you react if that happened to exactly you? Exactly like that. I'm yeah. beating the fuck out of him. Oh I don't care that you're sleepwalking. Yeah. You're getting hands. I don't know how you guys could go from, oh, I have a history of sleepwalking to like I pee and everything after it happened once. That's what you do, dog. No, That's man. The accusations. Yeah. Commenters, People that sleepwalk solve don't this remember. case. I now need to lawyer up. Fuck. This is this is sick. This is defamation. This is I will not fly for this. I will not stand for this. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, um, wait, what, what is uh, Wu Tox drunken alter ego? Mm. Uh, he could good time until he crosses the threshold and then he's angry. <laughs> wait, wait, defend yourself, defend yourself. Yeah, what first. the fuck? I, I didn't even get a chance oh, to establish my own archetype. I, my bad. Yeah, the fuck. <laughs> now I have little, this label on me already. You got a little petty. Now you know uh, what it's like to be defamed. <laughs> <laughs> Libel. Yeah, yeah, bro, you one hundred percent did that shit. But um, I think I'm a very happy social drunk. I like talking to everyone. I like kissing people on the mouth. I like, uh, <laughs> and I like to drink a lot. So I'm like a party goer. Like I make people drink more. I like yeah. I elevate the vibe of wherever I'm at until I'm crossed and then I'm <laughs> insanely angry. Then it's just, and then there's, yeah, and then it's like evil has entered. And then in the same way that my happy vibe can affect the whole room, I can absolutely destroy the vibe in, yeah. one, in one swift movement. Everyone's just nodding mm -hmm. <laughs> in just approval. Nobody has anything else to add. Uh, Good I, description. I call it the, the caveman mode. It's like, it's like Wu Talk happy. But <laughs> when Wu Talk mad, Wu Talk mad. <laughs> like, I remember we, in, in Hawaii, we, we were on our way to district, and then. And <laughs> <laughs> he violated all, like all, like bro. This is this is the crazy part. One man violated six other people <laughs> because of a question he asked uh, us. So <laughs> he looked. Uh, by the way, I, I don't remember this at all. Bro, he looked. Random back guy? At, no, no, no. So <laughs> him. So we we were on our way to the district after the the event, like our Buho party. event. Yeah, the UTI event we yeah, threw yeah. in Hawaii. And then he looks back at us. He's like. What if we can't get inside? Are we all down to get a table? And then everyone collectively in the car was like, no, let's just go home. And then he immediately goes like, what the fuck? Wait, you're not, you're not gonna get a table? What the fuck do you think is gonna happen? Like, we, there's a chance we're not gonna get inside. And I'm like, yo, chill, you're yelling. I don't give a fuck. And I'm like, yo, like, bro. I was like, bro. And then Emily had said something to you. You're like, what do you like? Like starts blacking on her. I'm like, bro, chill. And we were like, all right, just just leave it alone. Leave it alone. We'll, we'll get inside. We'll get inside. I don't remember this either. I don't Aggressive. Remember that at all. Was that Wait, Emily said something and he yeah. yelled at Emily. Yeah, I was just like, yo, chill. You be you, you walling out. Emily's like, just leave it. He's drunk. Dang. I was very very was, drunk. He was drunk. I don't, I don't remember know. this at all. That was bro, that was probably the drunkest it, I've been in a long time. Yeah, he doesn't even remember being in district. I remember parts of it. That's when my memory started to spot back. I started to beam back into my body from oh, wherever yeah. I left to. I returned. <laughs> yeah. And then uh and then I remember <laughs> I won't say whatever. You remember yeah, he yeah, was yeah. peeing on the table. <laughs> yeah, you peed on the table. You guys all remember that, right? <laughs> this guy's so salty that he's a serial peer. You peed That's in your, gang's How does suitcase. it feel that your your alter ego is just peeing everywhere? <laughs> no, man. Dirty boy. <laughs> your alter ego is a raccoon. <laughs> a raccoon? <laughs> kind of look like a he's raccoon. Like, uh, pee everywhere? He's like Je Jeffrey Dahmer, but with peeing in people's like personal spots. Yeah, literally in their personal shit. <laughs> You demon. <laughs> it's funny that Gang has been involved in two of the cases. In both, yeah. He he was the victim of both. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I peed in I don't know if I peed in the trash can either. There's no video evidence. Dude. We didn't Oh my god, bro. You would get locked up. It could have been water. You would get locked up if you had to defend yourself. The evidence points against you, whether yep. you like it or not. You would have been done. You see the video evidence of how drunk he was. That doesn't convince you. And it was a sober all. person that saw me and was Dude, like, you're the yep, only sober. One? Worst, that's the worst offense you could have came you're up the with. the only one who takes off their pants and only solely your pants. <laughs> you have, I don't know, man. 
You don't. Jo- you jo- sleep Jerome with your pants will on? go to sleep in a jacket with no pants. Yeah, and he'll be like, I didn't pee anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened to be, <laughs> happened to be pee. It boxers happened. are completely soaked in piss. It, I didn't even pee. <laughs> it happened once. It happened once. <laughs> what, what is Vitz? Uh, He's like. Drunk alter ego. I think I think my shit is I just feel whatever I'm feeling in the moment ten, like a hundred times more. It's like it's like a child where like you know how children like whatever emotion they're feeling it's just immediate, and then yeah. they could just immediately switch to the next motion if something triggers them. Yeah. So literally he'll be like pissed if people are not making the movements he wants. Yeah. And then you're like, hey, Vic, you want to go to hide? He's like, hide. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much that. Yeah, like, like, I'm, I'm that smoke. simple. Yeah. But it's like like if I don't know if, if something. If something pisses me off, no matter how like unrational it is, I'll just be pissed off. And then it takes either like like Wu Talk or like someone I actually care about talking some sense into me. Then I'll I'm I will say I'm able to switch pretty quickly. I would say it does. It, sometimes it does take some some yeah some work, sometimes some like pep talk. Like we got it's like a game time. Like listen, man, we at this club already. <laughs> like, like I've had to give him a couple of those at these events where yeah. he's like tired or like just somebody pissed him off, right? And then yeah. I'm like. It's literally like a coach talking to a star player. Like, we need you out there. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's either that or like, or like very happy and friendly. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's what, it's whatever I'm met with. I'll return it tenfold. Mm. So like if, when people come up to me and they're nice, immediately I'll be like, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> but if they're, yeah. they come up and they say anything that I take as like, like, like slyness or like disrespect, I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> you know, you know I'll you. be honest. I can't tell when you're drunk sometimes. I, like, I try to hold oh, myself. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if you were yeah. very perceptive then. Probably because he's hammered too. <laughs> yeah, it's just he's drunk. You're Actually, way more yeah, 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 yeah. Two yeah. guys staring <laughs> blankly at each other like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining Eddie and Vit hanging out together, and it's literally like just both of them just drooling. <laughs> no, there's no other stimulus Dude, happening, so it's just a void. Two just different species meeting for the first time. They're just like, and they can't communicate or understand each other. They're, They're like, like touching each other weirdly, like, what is this? It's, it's funny because Vit admits when he's drunk, Eddie doesn't. It's like, Eddie, are you drunk? No. He'll <laughs> be like, he'll be like. I'm not even drunk yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. And he's like exactly. fucking slurring. But he's slurring. slurring. His eyes are gone. And then when he's like, Vit, are you drunk? Yeah, I'm pretty drunk. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll always <laughs> like, say it. It's almost like a cry for help. I'm like, hey, make, make sure I don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Mine is to make sure that I'm not susceptible to danger. I, I don't like to. being vulnerable. <laughs> I do, but I don't. I would love to see them in a room, like just both drunk, like talking we've to been, each we've other. We've been out and drunk together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you saved guys my have been life. out and drunk together quite a bit. <laughs> I'll, I'll never let this go. I'm I'm dead ass. He saved my life. Wait, why? Uh, at the Super Bonsai yeah. party. Why? He, he, he's the safe. only one who... T- I woke up. I, I've never blacked out in my life. And this is the first time I literally woke up. And I was like, where the fuck am I? He was just at Vitz's place. Dude, I came home at like 7 in the morning. And um, mm. and Eddie was not there. And I was like, damn, this motherfucker is still going. You left him? Or he left before. Yeah, no, he left I, I'll have to oh. fucking close that down. He was, he was closing the party down. I walked uh. outside. I seen him passed out. I'm like, Uber, go home. We're going home wow. right now. I was talking to, I forgot who I was talking to, but uh, immediately I was like, you can't talk to you anymore. Bye-bye. Miss you. Whatever. Eddie, let's go. And then I literally had to carry him. He says all the goodbye buzzwords. Goodbye, I miss you. Whatever. <laughs> he just goes through a checklist in his mind. Like, okay, yeah, these were the words to say. And it's just a tree. <laughs> I would also say there's, there's in some instances, if I am like the most sober out of everybody, I will tend to take charge more. When is that? <laughs> when, when, that, that night when you were super, uh, I whoa, mean, Steve, Steve no, was so it, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, basically it's whenever I'm blacked out. Uh, <laughs> like, it's yeah. like when I have to step up. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's a survival uh, mechanism. Yeah. <laughs> I love how, because, because Wu Tuck's very good at rallying people, but when he's out, I just see everyone collectively working as a group to get this man anywhere. <laughs> yeah. And it's so funny to see him let go finally. Like, I'm so tired of doing this. And then, like, we see, we, We'll take him somewhere where we'll go eat and then just seeing his child self hey, is point, so funny. point the mic at your mouth. I'm talking like this, man. Yeah. We work it out. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> he said we'll work it out. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, sweetheart. But uh, I yeah, love alcohol, though. Let's not, let's not, let's not I, say I, all I, that. I, I love it. It's a fun time. Yeah, but, it you can know, be fun. But yeah, let's put it in moderation. I will <laughs> say, sloppiest. I will say Super Bonsai helps 
a lot. It yeah. does. Uh, I, I can't this. imagine drinking without it, to yeah. be honest. And what a great time for a plug yep. because it's all natural ingredients to formulate it to stop your hangover super bonsai or rather the, super hey where's that corny ass stuffed animal I don't know where it is yeah. I'm it's Levy <laughs> yeah, yeah. bring, bring her out super recovery is basically eight natural ingredients the main one being DHM to help your liver process out toxins faster B complex to help you fight those morning headaches that you get from your loss of B vitamins when you drink ginger turmeric to fight off nausea and uh, other things like zinc, prickly pear. What is that? This is Livy. Hey, what's up? Livy is your Livy is your liver. When you drink alcohol, Livy sad. Livy frown. Livy <laughs> Livy put that smile upside down. But uh, you guys like that bar? Damn, I'm spitting right now. <laughs> but when you drink alcohol, you poison Livy, and Livy doesn't deserve that. She's a very important part of your body. So regardless of if you're trying to avoid hangovers or not, all the ingredients in this help you protect Livy for a longer healthier life of drinking more alcohol. Wow. Those are his inner, those are his inner thoughts coming out. Uh, Jeremy also gets very homoerotic when he's drunk. I see it a lot. What are you talking hey, about? Okay. That's Who's another crazy accusation. Who's the sloppiest, sloppiest. drunk? Eh? I almost want to say Eddie. Yeah. Yeah, Eddie. Sloppy? Yeah. Why? Give me a reason why. Just the way your speech and yeah, you're yeah, just kind yeah. of like bumbling like, around. When I you can't help tell, my muscles. I could tell you're drunk. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. I think he may. Actually, no. You. Gotta... I don't piss in people's fucking. <laughs> secrets, Actually, man. you <laughs> are the sloppiest drunk. I don't yeah. know, man. I'm not that sloppy. You know what? Here's the thing, though. I'm not sloppy. I don't think you're sloppy because you don't actually. You're responsible enough not to get that drunk. Most of the time, but, no, if, but you're he, pee, if you if when you black out, you're pissing on shit. Then like you got that happened. So first of all, the first the, the first the first trash can incident happened when I was twenty two. So ten years, years ago. ago. Okay, okay. Let's remove the, the pissing. Yeah, yeah, pissing. Other than that, you guys don't see me. Let's like, remove doing, those. Let's talk about Vegas when you couldn't even make it to your bed. And yeah, but up until that point, point, up until that point, yeah, yeah. Nobody I won't say knew. That's no, yeah, yeah, nobody you're right, knew. You're, right. you're pretty composed. Nobody, nobody knew. You look clearly very drunk. Like even if you're not blacked out, you look like you're falling apart. But I'm very <laughs> low maintenance when I'm drunk. That doesn't. That bro, you are it's literally it's sitting there like. <laughs> yeah, but that's, yeah, but I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm yeah, not like. Oh, that, how, that name name one time that I've ever like puked all over the place. You know what I'm saying like. No, no, what, that's not. That's not. That's not so that's what me it sloppy. takes to be sloppy. That's if anyone was doing that constantly. Yes, they'd take the cake, but none of us do that. Yeah, so. we're we're saying sloppy. Yes, like of if us. we had to choose. All right. Well, then, I think yeah. I'm the least sloppy. I don't really see you yeah. puke ever. I I would say like. The three of us are probably. Don't do it. Don't do it. You, you also, you yeah, also yeah, never yeah, get you're to not, that. You're not in there. The three you of us. Get to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, yeah. Who, who out of Wutog and. Hey, Wutog this is my only competition for it. drinking, is it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's just vote. It's Eddie. For sloppiest? Yeah, I vote Eddie uh, sloppiest. Suck my ass. <laughs> you're you're really chill as a drunk though. Yeah, you're yeah. not a bad really chill. drunk. Not it's a bad just drunk. That when yeah. you get to like we, it's a very clear switch, and I see it often enough that I'm picking you. I can't help it, man. I can't help it, man. I don't think I slur my words when I get drunk. You do when you're that drunk, but I don't. You're not like that often. Ugh. Yeah. I just I I've lost the ability to like ride the the perfect wave. I just go too hard and I'm like oh shit. You're here and then all of a sudden you're yeah. right there. And the it, next time I see you. The annoying thing about it. I honestly think this changes your tolerance. It does a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to gauge sometimes. This but shit, also in real... general, alcohol, it's like when you get excited that first hour of a party, you take a shot, you're like, I'm not feeling it. And it you're stacks. Taking, you're stacking your... Yeah, uh, and then it's just like a hammer into your kneecap. And then you're just like, hello. <laughs> hammer into your kneecap. Nah, that, the you worst... start like walking with a limp. The the worst type of drunks are when, when you take shots and you don't feel it for the longest and then oh. it just hits you all at once. When it hits you, I get scared. No, dead I ass, go like, like, wait a second. Like, I am too drunk. Yeah, yeah. You know what's the worst? When you had just taken a shot and you already felt it. Like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm in it for a ride because <laughs> there's two more of those coming down the line and I don't know when the bitch is about to sneak in but they're gonna sneak in. Man, the, I go the in worst, the, the worst is when you t just took a shot and then more, and then like another group that you're supposed to take a shot with starts pressing you again. Oh, you're gonna take a shot with them, but not us. And then it's like, oh, oh, that kind of sucks being a guy. Yeah. Cause like when you're a girl, like nobody's gonna be. Oh, don't yeah, be. No a one's bitch. gonna press you, but like yeah. you, I get pressed. Yeah, I One know. time I was not. 
Yeah, in Houston. No, no, not Houston. This guy. Wait, what? In Houston. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, no, I'm talking about recently. So at Jimmy's surprise thing, I'm like, oh, guys, oh, I'm yeah. not going to drink tonight. <laughs> mm. And then it's like Jimmy's surprise thing. So Jimmy's like, you're not going to drink on my birthday? I'm like, bro, you didn't even know this was happening. Like, this was not a planned thing, you know? Like, mm-hmm. And then they were just like not taking, him and Jimmy were just not taking no for an answer. I'm literally like, no, I'm good. I'm really good. Like, I'm trying not to for a little bit. They grab me, <laughs> physically are holding me. Like, like I don't know if you're, he's grabbing me or if Jimmy's grabbing me. I was grabbing you. Holding my head like this, and I'm literally like, please stop. I'm like this. I'm like, please. And somebody has it on video. I'm like, please, no, please. And then they're just pouring. They're like, I'm going to pour it all over your face if you don't open up. And I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. And then I'm like, ah. You have Water that rep, you that's tequila. why. Huh? You have a rep. Of like what? you're you, Being you're an heavy drink yeah you're an alcoholic you're a heavy drinker and Ew, I want a new rep <laughs> and you're a bartender like I'm you the just healthy drink. guy now I've been making videos <laughs> and then every weekend we see on your story out every weekend not every weekend it's not I go out way le- I go out way less than him yeah look at oh, him even oh, he I, can't, I forgot he can't I forgot to mention that Eddie's new alter ego Eddie's a demon yeah. Yeah, you've been missing from the podcast for a little bit, claiming you had to work, but how come I see you go out five times a week? Mm-hmm. Listen, man, I was in a what long relationship. What days did you go out this week? What days did you go out this week? Let's start with that. Be honest. You're under oath. <laughs> Say no, it. Not. Say the days. I don't know the days. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. It is only Saturday, and guess what? We're going out tonight. <laughs> Who talk has an apron on? He's not home again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a we had a we had a <laughs> Why did he say? And you haven't been home this day, this day. I don't see you anymore. Like what the fuck was that? With that's exactly it. Hold There's on. dishes in the sink. I swear to God, let me let me tell you some funny shit, bro. One day, this this past, I think it was thir- it was Thursday, right? All day long, I'm like, what the fuck is that smell, right? I'm like, there's a weird smell in our kitchen. And I'm asking him every time we walk by, I'm like, dude, do you smell that? Am I tripping? And he's like, yeah, I smell something weird. And I'm checking the garbage, the fridge, nothing, right? I'm like, what the fuck? And then, um, and he goes to a party. I didn't go because, you know, I'm a God-fearing man who had work to do. Something he knows nothing about. But then anyways. all day to go. Anyways, I'm like, then I get back from the gym. He's gone already, right? And then I'm like, I smell it even worse. So I'm like, what the fuck is it? And I look on, there's like a little tote bag on the on the counter. And there's like vegetables he brought from somewhere. Like somebody gifted him like homegrown vegetables. But he left it there for weeks. Like no one touched it. I forgot. And it was rotted. I'm sorry. And then so it was like that. And then there was also like a bag of like, watermelon he was like taking to lunch somewhere that just also got sat so it was the combination of that and then i start texting him i'm like how are you going out every day this week and you don't even know that you have groceries rotting on the counter like i was like mad he starts then, crying i'm sorry this is not me <laughs> no he got mad at me he goes bro he started beef he goes bro do you ever stop complaining i'm like i would if you didn't leave vegetables to rot on the counter oh and i just felt like God. a nagging wife being like you're out you're out every day you're ignoring your responsibility <laughs> Dude, okay, actually, I, I I was making ramen and I was trying to steal one of your cheese. Uh-huh. That shit was molded and I was like... <laughs> Which one? <laughs> it was, I think it was pepper jack. I don't know what it, it was. like in a... Oh, those are your cheeses. Ziploc bag and I just tossed it out. Hey, look, look what's happening with your relationships and your home life just yeah. because you've been You're partying. You're ruining our home hey, that we worked so hard to build. I just wanted to say, surprise, this is an intervention for Eddie. <laughs> This yeah, was not that about was actually, partying. Brando not being here was all planned. That yeah, was you all thought, to bring you thought you that on this is going to be how to throw a party? It's how to fix yourself. <laughs> what's the first question? First question is what's what's going on? Eddie? Explain yourself. Is everything okay? You're hurting. You're hurting the family. <laughs> is this what the fuck? Am I no, no, to I mean, well, actually, let's. Well, why do you think you are going out more on a serious question? On a, note. On a serious question. Uh, on a serious note, I think it's it's just because honestly, I just got out of a relationship, so. Damn, that shit was a while ago. Yeah, no, but like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I, oh, I, uh, I think it comes down to that. I like who I am when I go out. <laughs> I just, I like it now. Like, I didn't like it before. I was very introverted, very like homebody, and I, I find that shit fun now. Also, it's like, it's you like developed ex- the sauce. It, it, no, I mean, it's just, it's like developing the 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 social side of myself that I've never really had. Did you rage in college? Yeah, but that's because I like I was in a frat, so it was different. Mm. Like, but in like real life, like the, the the problem with being in a frat, if you're uh, antisocial or just very introverted, 
it gives you this false sense of like, oh, this is what it's always going to be like. But then when you go into the real world, it's completely different. There's mm-hmm. no ties behind things. And then like w- with the frat, like it's kind of like a cheat code because it's like shooting fish in a barrel when it comes to like talking to people because you have they're this like ice obligated. Breaker. Yeah, they're yeah. like obligated to talk to you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That and then it's like oh, even with like sororities or other fraternities, you have an icebreaker like I'm in this frat or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like So it's easy to be able to bring up a conversation. But with a regular person, you'd be like, I'm on a frat. I don't give a fuck. Like, mm. yeah, it's like loser, no, douchebag. Yeah. Now, now it is. It's uh, what do you do for work? Yeah, but then like even then, that's such a such a a networking. Boring, yeah, yeah, it's boring and like you know, th- and then there's there's like, there's like like riz without actual rizzing, like just being able to have a actual genuine conversation with someone and then enjoy it is. You mean some, charisma? Yeah, yeah. There you go, charisma. Yeah. The other word, <laughs> the real word. We, we forgot the word charisma, <laughs> yeah, and he shit. replaced it with riz without rizzing. <laughs> Wait, you guys all That's were such in a, a frat. chronically online fucking. Well, except for him, but yeah, the three of us. Yeah. We were in the same frat, just at different schools. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And not even like we planned it by knowing, like it was just like that was the frat he joined. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. Um, so okay, so the reasons I'm hearing is you're returning to the streets after a heartbreak. No. <laughs> you learned the how translation. To speak. You learned how to speak to people. Yeah. And you're trying to fuck. No, I'm not trying. To okay. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Tried to catch him. I wasn't kidding when I said I, I'm starting to love alcohol. We I'm know, good. man. I'm Let's g- not put I'm this out on the internet to the to the young impressionable mm-hmm. minds that watch this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take it back. Say you're joking. It's my cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I don't know. Do you, like, you've, you've gone out a lot too, but you normally go out a lot. I so. normally go out a lot, but I, there was a moment in my car the other, I think it was Tuesday, uh-huh. and I was just like, damn, I love being drunk. Like, I, can, I feel like I can talk to people. I don't feel awkward, and it's just like I'm happier. Well, that, that is the effects of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like in yeah. the moment, though, and then, you yeah. f- and then you feel, the next day you feel like shit because you're hungover. Ex- yeah. But well, not with super bonsai. <laughs> Regardless, though, you're going to feel drained if you drink, like, even yeah. though it helps me on benders, like, after a five-day bender, even if I woke up every day, fine, because Fucking of super strange. bonsai. It's because you don't sleep, though. Yeah, you're so strained. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you do sleep, even if you take naps, right? Mm. Like, it's just, it's like literal toll on, alcohol is poison. People keep forgetting that. It's yeah. quite literally a poison. Yeah. And like, but, uh, and I think that in that sense, right? Like it's, yeah, it makes, it's literally like borrowing happiness from the future to like Mm. have more now. And also it's like when you're in that mode, when you do end up in a party or situation where you're like, maybe I shouldn't drink. That's where you get anxiety and you lose the natural ability to like talk to people. You you start to become dependent on like, I'll just have a shot. I just needed, you know, take the edge off. Yeah. Agreed. You become so, dependent on alcohol for to, to remain it's, it's not even that... Like, I, I think I know how to talk to people if I wanted to. It's I don't even want to talk to people unless I'm drunk. Exactly. Yeah. Anything you've become dependent on is a, is more of a crutch than a, than a benefit. <laughs> he's like, boring. Yeah, he's like, but yeah. then I can't go to the club. It's not fun without alcohol. <laughs> what's the next? What's the next? What's the next one? Well, we had some, uh, oh, the fucking famous oyster girl scenario. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So to describe you the oyster girl scenario, lady gets asked on a date for drinks. Man's clearly says, let me take you out for drinks. She says, okay. They pull up and it's like- She picks the location. She picks the location. And they pull up and it's it's normal to like want to have some food when you're drinking. What's not normal is that she had four plates, four dozen oysters, five dozen. I'm pretty sure it was four. It was but 48 it was four, oysters, four, it was four I dozen. think, right? She, was, she had four dozen oysters by herself. The man didn't even offer the guy that's paying the bill one oyster. The guy doesn't eat anything. And then, um, and then she also, after four dozen oysters, orders herself like an entree, like a main mm-hmm. dish. The, the craziest part about the oysters is she's filming all of it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, and, and, and the thing is, it's not, hey, I'm having a conversation, eating one oyster at a time, talking to him. The There's plate n- hits the table, and she's going marathon, like sprinting through the oysters, <laughs> just slurping one at a time with the flash on. Yeah, and, and like, making loud ass noises, like, <laughs> yeah, like, te- like, oh, these, these are so delicious. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God! Slurping down the next one, like the dude is probably just sitting there, like, "What the fuck?" No, yeah. she forgot about him. For yeah, sure. like literally. 
<laughs> like there's no conversation being had. <clears throat> and then I guess the guy basically gets up and she has three drinks, four dozen oysters and an entree. And the guy had one cocktail. And um, and then the guy gets up and bounces on her, basically. No, he leaves for 30, like he, he basically goes to, go to the bathroom. The rest yeah, yeah. Yep. And, and then, then she's dips. like, oh, this guy hasn't returned for 30 minutes and realized that he's gone. So, so she, she also posts the text where she was like, you left that on the bill. And he goes, yeah, sorry, I'll pay for my drink. But like you ordered 48 oysters. Like, no, no, I, he's, he said, I'll pay for the drinks. He's yeah. like, I offered to take you out for drinks. And then you started ordering like, like as if we was at a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and I wasn't going to pay for that. So like, well, fuck out of here. And, and Esther sends the video in the chat. She was like, what's wrong with this? Yeah, and she's then like, we I just don't see anything wrong with no, this. No, listen here. Okay, I didn't watch the full video, but I, I was just like, are, are people really hating on her for eating 48 oysters? Yeah, Because that's I would. what I do. Yeah, but you're paying for your own oysters. <laughs> yeah, but but I get it. I get it because now she's like slurping like crazy. It's and just, then, yeah. And, and she's not talking to her date. That's the thing. Like, I don't mind anybody that will eat that much food on a date, honestly, you know? But if you ain't talking to me while you're just Yeah, why would I pay for away? your food no. if you're not yeah. even... You, you clearly came on this date to ignore me and eat the food yeah. you think I'm paying for. Oh, and then she posts the bill and the bill's like $200 and then and she tipped $10. Oh, I saw that. And Wait, she called $200. him broke. And no, she no. called him broke. No, no, yeah. no. She f made a follow-up video of how she tipped a certain amount in. No, no. And then oh. she, she was like, I left $5 in cash or some shit. Like oh. literally the amount was like less than 8%. Damn. Yeah. It was, it, she still she stiffed them. And then she was like flexing that like, y'all don't know, like blah, blah, blah. And then people are like, that's still, that's not even bare minimum tip level. Have you seen, there's a, this is kind of off topic, but have you seen that video about how tipping is ruining America? Yeah, wait, let's not get off topic then, oh. real fast. Let's do that next time. Do, I, I do like that you idea. think yeah. now that she's in the wrong? Uh, yeah. Yes or no, be honest. I mean, honestly, the thing is, he invited her for drinks. And obviously when you go to drinks like sometimes you're gonna want to eat yeah. but the her problem is i think that she didn't do anything wrong by ordering oysters or like eating or whatnot but i think her problem was that she wasn't even talking to him like she didn't give a fuck about him <laughs> i like think she, her there problem was no, is eating 48 oysters there was yeah. no there was no respect like on that but other than that like let's just say i was eating oysters while talking to him and just like you know the, these are good like you know and like just conversing that i don't think that's wrong but i think she was wrong because she wasn't talking it's to wrong because like, she was clearly using him yep. for food yeah yeah that's and why. that in 48 no human being needs 48 oysters that's just like a that's just like a fuck you to your wallet that's, like i'm purposely ordering food to it's fucking hurt your pocket it's 15 dollars a dozen dude that's cheap as hell that is pretty cheap for a dozen oysters but i want to go there regard you don't know the man's <laughs> financial situation and he did not plan to have 40, like, you know what I'm saying? And it was just like every cadence of the date. Like, how do you have your phone out recording every oyster you're slurping and not speaking to your date? And like, he's not eating and you're eating in his face. Like, you know what I mean? It like, was kind of disrespectful. Yeah. Like, no every manners. Aspect of manners. It was it's like straight up disrespectful. It was just no manners. Yeah. Sign this woman up for food challenges. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm impressed. I could, I could eat 48, easy. Yeah, but she yeah. also had an entree. Like, could, let's sign her up. For, let's sign her up for a real food challenge. Let's oysters go. don't fill you up. That's yeah, let's thing. go see how many oysters we can eat in like a dollar oyster day. We'll probably throw up. Actually, I take that back. Yeah, no, nah, that's a I love egregious oysters. amount of oysters. I do love oysters, but anyways, that that leads me to ask: What are some proper first date etiquette for the girls? Etiquette. Well, let me let me re say that before y'all fucking. <laughs> you can't you can't slip up once around us because yeah, like we'll just, immediately people jump on. Do you it, remember the time you. when you said okay? <laughs> no, when, or when he was like pizza, pizza. <laughs> 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 but anyways, what is proper first date etiquette for women, Esther? Proper first in your date opinion. Etiquette. Um. Like, what are things a girl should always do on a first date to show the man that she's respecting his time, have his sex effort, with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have sex with him? Opening the car door. <laughs> for the guy? Yes. You want the girl to open the car door for the guy? Yes. From the inside or from the outside? From the outside. You want her to pull up on the driver's side seat and open the door for him? Like Guys you. like it too. Wait, actually, make sure, make sure you have a, a, a bouquet of flowers as well. Okay, okay with these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I was like, what? I'm fucking kidding. This is terrible. Yeah, we talked like, man, dude, that I, sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever done that for me. I was, I was thinking, I was like, that's kind of cool. Respect. <laughs> you know what? You know yeah. what? Was, you know, I will salute say, me when I walk up to your front door. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jeremy Kim. I'm ready for the date. 
I'm like, you may exit the house. <laughs> she walks to the car, opens the door for me. Thank you. <laughs> we will begin our destined trip to the next destination. Do you have any food allergies? <laughs> there's, a you- pud- <laughs> there's a puddle. There's a puddle. I take my shirt off. <laughs> Put it on the you, you just lay across it. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure I step on the back of her head to really get it in the puddle. She's like, hey, watch it. (laughs) 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 She gets in the car. I'm like, backseat, you're kind of (laughs) wet. Anyway, you have any real answers? Like, what? Okay, etiquette. Oh, I mean, God, just, just make sure to not order anything crazy, I guess. I think there's a level of uh, respecting the man's, like, I, this goes for any, if I know someone's buying me dinner, and unless they're, like, fucking filthy, filthy yeah. rich, I, I try not to, like, order the most expensive thing. Same, or, same. or, like, but I also, it's usually, like, family style, so I'll, like, bounce, bounce back and forth or whatever, right? Yeah. But, um... But yeah, I don't purposely try to order the most expensive thing. Like, like sometimes we'll go to a restaurant where there's caviar. I'm not going to be like, oh, there's caviar. Usually I wouldn't get caviar. But since he's paying, I'm going to get caviar. I don't do that. If I'm getting caviar on the like, uh, like by myself or with my friends and that's what I usually eat, I'm going to get it. But I'm probably going to pay for it. Honestly. Yeah, and you're not going to so go bad. out of your way to run up the bill just because yes. someone's paying. That's yeah, yeah, good yeah. first date mm-hmm, etiquette. Mm-hmm. You know what? To avoid that. Don't take her to a place that has caviar. Take her to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> then you're good. Cheesecake Factory is the perfect first date. Would you guys all no. agree? No, I don't agree. No, I'm only saying that because you've seen all the videos. No, I haven't. I've Dude, there was, an, there, was a, there was another video. It was real. Yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. real. And the girl refused. She, and first of all, she oh, filmed she didn't herself. Go to Cheesecake Factory? No, no. She's in the car and the guy gets out the car to open her door and she's like, mm-mm. Wait, and wait, he's no, like, no. he's like, there's, there's a lot more to it. So basically, this guy asks this girl on a date. She, she, she agrees. She takes an hour to come down. Ugh. So then, the, the reservation that they had at a nice restaurant was basically done. Oh. They, they oh, couldn't I make didn't it. Know that. Are you wait? Are you sure we're seeing the same video? Yes, because they, they're supposed to go to the cheesecake vac- the factory, and she was reluctant to go. But is is it the one where she's filming herself and refuses to get out the car, and you can hear the dude? I think this is a, a different video. Oh, okay, well, then wait, that, wait. Was a, that was one video. Maybe there's a lot of incident. Laughter? There's a lot of fights that happen at Cheesecake Factory. People hey, take your girl to Cheesecake Factory. Hey, that's that's why Drake said that line. Why you gotta fight, fight me at Cheesecake Factory? You know, I love to go there. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> okay, I hate that you, place. you tell me your story, and me I want to hear it. I hate it too. <laughs> Jeremy, finish your story. <laughs> so she's sitting in the car, and the guy's like, she's she's like, mm mm, and he's like, like well, get out the car. She's like. You brought me to Cheesecake Factory. She's just like fucking thrashing the man. And then the comments are just like going crazy. And then now they're making meme jokes. Hey, but what, on her sure. or him? Something. I want to hear situation. more first date etiquette though from, what is that bad first date etiquette? What? Cheesecake Factory? No, just not being ungrateful about where you're going. Oh, uh, honestly, I think that I would like them to t- tell me where we're going. So you, it would be somewhere you want to go. Yeah. 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 I mean, if it's, yeah. Like, honestly, I know. Come on. Would you take a girl that you really like to a low? Well, I wouldn't, but I can afford quad, to go somewhere nice though. You know, like I don't really under, like I, I can understand when yeah, I was. Yeah, but if you're broke. When I was 20, you know, when I was 21, like I was That's not crazy. taking girls to the same places that I am now. Like simple fact. Yeah. I say that if you, ha- if you don't have money, do not like do something more high effort where like take her on a picnic, like more thoughtful shit. Or maybe be grateful I, that the man is going out of his way, spending his money. If, saying, I, if, yeah. I, if I if I if I have money, why would I want to date someone that's broke though? Okay, but like, you're maybe not has aspirations. You're not, yes. 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 First hell? of all, <laughs> also, yeah, we're not talking about you. We're talking so about the, girls the first day person, etiquette. Oh, yeah. if they're, okay, if the girl is And especially a if the well, bitch is broke and she complaining the, about cheesecake, hey. you couldn't even take yourself here. If the, <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, listen, you listen. You wouldn't have ate <laughs> tonight asking, if I wasn't here. You're, you're asking me, you're asking me, but then, yeah, if, if the girl's a bum, then she should not complain. <laughs> okay, yeah, but we don't I know that. Are you going to be rich to date a bum? What yeah, the no, fuck? Yeah, 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 there's a fine line between etiquette and just standard. Entitlement, yeah. Okay. Wait, okay. but one thing I want to say is for the price that you can take someone to Cheesecake Factory, you can probably. <laughs> oh my Lord. Let me just finish my statement. That's a good point. You could yeah, probably yeah. find a creative, nice, like mom and pop owned restaurant yes. that's still very nice and right in that price range. Che- True. 
Cheesecake Factory is pretty pricey, so if someone's <laughs> taking you there, maybe think twice before you call them a bum. It has a bad name, like bad rep to it, I think. It sucks. It's like yeah. commercialized food yeah. is trash. It's, it's, like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the Applebee's version of pasta. It's literally, yeah, it's literally one step above Applebee's. Yeah, because you're right. You can find better food. Um, totally agree. For the same amount or even less. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I think as the man, you should be choosing places like be smart about choosing the place because it does matter. That's the laziest date idea I've yes. ever. Like like cheesecake fat is the most commercial bum ass like basic ass restaurant I've ever. No heard of. I think she. I think I think she was also on the first date with them too. Yeah 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 yeah. So, I think the first date is, is but I also think to make sure you establish that role immediately. Like mm. like, like like where you're going and all that, but. She do you think it changes say. once you're in a relationship? Like, what if I wanted to take my girl in a cheesecake factory? I've never been, but like, it's whack, dude. It's not worth going to. Eddie, I think later I on when such you a guys bad are time, like <laughs> for real. <laughs> no, like it's not a good first date, y'all. Yeah, it's yeah. not a good first date. So just in the dating. By, the, by the opinions on cheesecake factory, but you why guys are you really hurt. <laughs> you got money in there, so. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? The first date is not a. It's not a good date. It's a very oh, like definitely. thoughtless. Like it's not very thoughtful, right? Mm -hmm. But like if it's like. Sometimes I want to go to Cheesecake Factor. I like the cheesecake there. I do. And I like their avocado, <laughs> avocado. She's trying to play on yeah, Jeremy yeah, right yeah. now. If she's making a move. Take me to cheesecake oh, factory, listen, she listen. like listed the menu items too. Like, uh, she's like I really like the Thai crunch chicken I like the chicken, chicken farfalle. <laughs> no, but, I no, went but, there once. No, no, but honestly though, like sometimes I'm like, okay, like it's, it's not bad, but it not, it's not a good first day. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text that tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. Period. Back to the rules of etiquette. Be thoughtful within your price range yeah. or wait, where wait, you wait. take Let, the person. Okay, let's, let's do male first day etiquette. With, let me give another one for girls. This is something that a girl did this for me once and I was like, damn. Offered to pay for the bill. <laughs> Sexy. No, no, He no. said Wayne Dane. Damn. Yeah, it's Damn. so fucking... Um, I opened her door, like the gentleman that I am. Gentleman shit, you know, nice guy. And then... Wait, 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 time out. When you open... Oh, getting car into door, the car okay, door. Okay, okay, okay. Open the car door, let her get in, slam that shit on her. And then... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I close the door and I'm walking around, right? While I'm walking around, she leans over and opens my yes. door. And I was like... <laughs> Give me Damn. that. Like I no one's ever done that for me. Oh, wait, then, opens your door into the from, restaurant. From the, no, no, no. What the fuck? Oh, Open the door oh, to the restaurant. We're in the oh, car, okay, man. Okay, Where okay, are you? I'm getting. I'm getting. What story I'm, are you listening to? Yeah, you are still in Cheesecake Factory. What this girl got like an eight, uh, like an eight foot wingspan? No, or she dude. like leaned over the leaned thing over and is like and T Rex it. arm in it. No, she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can't no, be grateful at all. Yeah, for real. That's a that's a big move. That's that's from the Bronx Tale, by yeah, the way. Yeah, literally, and I remember seeing that in the Bronx Tale, and I was like, this woman's watched the Bronx Tale. But then she leaned over, popped my door open, so it's like easier for me to get in. And then I was just like, you want to just go home? Like, <laughs> we don't even have to go to the restaurant. <laughs> You're so easy with talk. No, that is effort. That's not. That is not I'm common. so easy. First of all, I'm just very good at getting what I want. All no, right. I open the door for them. I give them champagne. The fuck. Kiss them on the forehead, and I said, "Buckle up, baby." And then I get their thing. <laughs> buckle up. Baby. <laughs> and then I put mine. I'm like, I'm ready, babe. <laughs> <laughs> They're driving. You buckle. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. What uh, Esther would be the type of person to be like in their ear, like you like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I pulled up on Eddie last Bro, night. That shit had me rolling. I pulled up because Eddie was like, uh, or I think it was like the bottle, right? And then um, I had the bottle in my hand, and just going around handing it. I see Eddie looking all innocent and sweet and breedable, and I pull up. <laughs> breedable. I pull up right behind him, and I whisper in his ear. I'm like, I pull up. I pull. I pull the bottle Bro. down low. I'm like this. I'm like, 
You like that shit? Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. And then he looks and he's like, starts cracking up. Bro, bro, and then I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, you want it, don't no, you? Because, yeah. bro, I was confused. Because, like, at first I didn't see the bottle. All I just saw is him going, like, right here. And he's like, you like that shit? And I'm like, don't huh? Do that. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you like that shit? And I'm like, what? He's like, you want that shit? I'm like, what? And then I started dying because yeah, he's, like, then- he's like wiggling it like, I, I literally, I'm like wiggling it, like yeah. I'm scared. And then, and then, and then he goes, ah, gets on his knees. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Eddie, you better and watch. Then I was just like, Eddie, yeah, you better lock your doors. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> you better lock your doors, Eddie. <laughs> but uh, what do you what do you think is good first date etiquette for a woman? Back on topic. Mm. I, for real, though, like, be serious. Doing the little dance. Oh, the credit card, mm. the, the pain. Yeah. Definitely agree. So, what so far we asked, have- What if you asked her though? What? It doesn't matter. You got to offer. If you're not the type to offer, then I just know where your character is. And you, it's entitlement level. I mean, I already know where your character is in that, in uh, that whole I, space. I no, like I'm very dance. generous. But in the beginning, if you're asking me out, then I'm going to- Regardless, you, okay? it tells me whether you feel entitled, what level of entitlement you feel. If you feel entitled to a first date just simply because you're a woman, it, doesn't, it tells me it's only negative things about you. I'm always paying. But if you're not going to even offer- Lame, and it's minus points. I'm not saying it's a deal breaker. It's minus points. You can no, you can shake your head all you want. And, and no, men out there, a man, hey, I'm telling you exactly how it is. And men out there, test them if they yeah. do the dance. Let them pay sometimes. You know, <laughs> put it around she's, on them. See if they're committed. Exactly. <laughs> she's she's pulling out an ID. She's like, no, yeah. I could pay. He's like, yeah, sure. She's like, she's like, no, I'll pay. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I would Thank love you. This, I would never do it, but I would love to see the reaction. Yeah, I just want to see. Yeah. Oh but my also, God. every girl that I've seen do that, I don't, at least th- that I'm on a date with, I don't think they're doing it as a dance. I think they genuinely are offering to, to yeah. like split or pay. And I'm like, that's a good show of character. Like, even though you are a girl and you and a man should pay for the first date, in my opinion, you still are not entitled enough to think that you should just accept it. Esther hears this and she has to like practice and like pretend. She's Literally, like, Esther I, was tweaking. She's like, I will pay. And the guy's like, no, you're not. Yeah, it's not you're, genuine. He's like, like I will pay. Up a credit I really card. want to pay. Let me pay. No, but All right, mo- hurry up. <laughs> Take no, care of I it. I think, you guys, this is... Okay, so I genuinely think that if you're going to ask a girl out to date... And you're expecting that little dance. That's a, that's all. Is that not also entitlement too? I wonder, How is that entitlement? It's, it's entitlement too. <laughs> no, I'm literally, entitled you're to asking. A- you literally asked her out on a date, her time, and you expect and my her, time. The fuck you asked her though. Okay, for her but time regardless, first. why do you? as a woman, feel like you are entitled to be paid for. You're both you interested. Asked you asked her. Okay, what is she at? Regardless, there's girls that ask me on dates and I pay on the first date. Why? Who's entitled well, then, there? Well, that's kind of weird. No, it's See, not because would, I'm a man. I I'm, you, always, I'm always going to pay because I'm a man and I want to pay on a first date, always, regardless. Mm-hmm. But my point is, it's if you, if somebody is offering to take you out and it, regardless of date or not, if anyone is offering to do something for me and I don't at least make the chance to be like, nah, let me shoulder the burden with you, not pay the whole bill, but like, let's split it. Then like, you are entitled. Yeah. If you don't even make the offer, you are to entitled. Split? What, I would think, think about the list that That's because you has are to do. entitled. You mm-hmm. are. You 100% are. I think, you, we, I think we are all entitled to some degree. Maybe not in this date situation, but yes. You are 100%. But no, but you know why? Because I for sure would buy the next one. Okay, it's like, that, no, no, I don't, that, number one thing is I would never split the bill 50-50. I would never that, do that. Okay, first of all, that's just a weird mental block you have compared to other people. Yeah, I know. And most of the time, somebody, that's and how when was, girls that's how offer, I was raised, though. and when girls offer, they're never like, let me get the bill. They're like, are you sure you don't want to split it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, then, and that's the factor of like, I don't want you to, like, it's like just not assuming you should pay for this whole thing because of my time. That's where you literally, word for word, everything you're saying literally screams entitlement. Okay, my time, you ask for my time, so you're paying for my time. That's literally what entitlement sounds okay, like. Okay, there's, there, of course, there's some, there's some sort of entitlement there, but I just think that that's, I think that's just how it is. That's. And I said, uh, a man should always pay, but if a girl doesn't even offer to split, it is a sign of entitlement and it's a huge well, red flag and a show me, of character. Call me entitled, but I will not offer you to pay. Did like I did yeah, a million yeah, yeah, times yeah, yeah. to I, your I, face. I'm, I'm telling the audience, call yeah. me entitled, and, 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 but and I'm he not also said pay. it's not a deal breaker. He's not saying like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not like, yeah you got to drop like, him. All right, it's a mental note. I'm going to keep that in mind. And yeah. saying, and, and, it's a minus points. Hey, wait, rewind. The topic is etiquette. It's yeah. good etiquette. Yeah, it's not good standard, etiquette. It's, it's not etiquette. like what you have to do. It's literally if you want to be courteous in your position, what you should do, and it's not courteous to not even offer. I would I would not offer, but I'd be like, "Oh, I got you next time." 
or I got your I got your drinks or I got your dessert and yeah, that's it. That, that's another that's another That's it's different. And realistically, it's, this is how it always goes. You're 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 a different case because you are a girl, I would say that will pay for a date, yep. right? But not as 99% of the yep. time and it's not true. So yep. what normally happens is a girl that does not offer to even split the bill on the first date, we're we're never just going to dinner going home, right? If we do dinner as a first date, we're going to drinks after too, right? We're going to hang out cuz we're having a good time. But go to the bar, they're not offering to pay the second time either. Yep. But girls that offer to split the bill the first time, I notice that when we go to the second place, bro, I'll put my card down to have the tab open. And if I'm in the bathroom, they switch the card. Like they pay for it while I'm gone to like make sure that they pay. Cause that is a genuine offer from them. They genuinely are like, I value your time as much as you value mine. Yep. And I want to pay and I'm making it clear. It's, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it always shows. It always shows regardless. So I'm telling okay. all the young men out there, it's a good show of character. Never once has a girl not offered to pay on the first date, in the first part of the date, and then offered to pay on the second. Like, there's never been a chance that, that that's okay, happened. Okay, well, girls, if you are not, I mean, sometimes, you know how girls, like, be playing the dance just to play the dance? Because yeah. guys like that. So now they know that. And they I start mean, doing it. We're putting them on so, right so now. So like that shit. That's why I'm saying, guys, test them. Let him pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just... Yeah, they're gonna be. There are gonna be guys that are gonna be like grateful that you did that, and there's some guys that are not gonna give a fuck. Like, r like men that are rich, they really don't give a fuck. Mm. You I, know I, what I mean? So like, it depends on the person. Like, you want that shit. Some guys genuinely do not want them to even touch the touch the belt. It's different. It's different. I grew up with she's people. Call, she's calling us broke right now. No, it's not even like it's not even like that. Like there are guys that were raised like that, just straight up like. Regardless, across the board, I promise you, everyone sees it as a sign of good faith. Regard, no, I would, no guy would be upset if literally some girl this, like, I do like, the same. Like, hey. I will never let a woman touch the bill on the first date, regardless <laughs> of the second. They have to literally do it behind my back if they're going to do it at all. Never happens. Regardless, a woman that doesn't do it. Minus points. Like if a guy, if I went to dinner with a guy and I was like, oh, I got this and he didn't even try to pay. Then I'm like, you're a bum. It's the same across the board. It's just a show of character. Mm -hmm. You want a lot I have of dates with guys? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, have, I have a question. You and I have been on dates. Before. I have a question on etiquette. Like, what? would you consider that the, the topic of conversation or like, yeah, the topic of conversation would also be considered part of etiquette? What like, do you mean? like if, uh, like, like if you avoiding certain topics or like, I, I would say more of, um, like how, how you're speaking with someone. So like if, if the conversation <laughs> is mostly one sided, like have, would it be proper etiquette to make it more involved? Like a combination of asking questions, receiving, oh, like and trying harder in the yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. Or would you just say that's a standard? I think that's just how into you they are and how comfortable, like, I think that first dates will always have awkward periods, mm. but, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, if you're going, if you're like sitting with, if you're hanging out with this person for four hours and the whole time they don't ask you anything about yourself, they're probably not interested. Like, no. Yeah. yeah, I think I think I know what you're asking because I've been on dates where literally like they they won't ask me anything about myself. Yeah, they'll, they'll just answer, answer questions, questions yeah. about themselves. And in my yeah, head, yeah, yeah. I'm like, like, and then if like we're ask like let's say like because I went on a date with like a girl three times or no four times and like like the first date was really well like Damn, went really married. well. <laughs> But the the like the other dates it was just like me keeping up the conversation and I'm like dude what the fuck or this what, is draining what, yeah, yeah it's draining. or or like it would be like the first twenty minutes would be like literally just about what's going on in her life and I'm like bro twenty minutes has passed like this uh, is like, crazy I, I do think that's social etiquette but that's also okay, like okay. some people are just bad conversationally or socially. Mm. And but like if I notice that like they're good socially and then they might be like that on the date then they're probably just not about it. Or maybe you make them <laughs> nervous. Yeah, or they're so nervous. Their knees are trembling. What, Jeremy? Have you guys ever left the date early? Yeah. 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 Really? What do you mean yeah. left the date early? Like, yeah, yeah, like halfway like, through, like dinner after maybe you had drinks planned or straight up at the dinner part being like, I'm, I'm not sure, feeling I'm leaving, this. Yeah. I'm going to pay for it. See ya. Never done. done that. That's but crazy. that's also why I avoid dinner as a first day because you're low-key locked in until the food's finished. But with drinks. You finish one drink. Yeah, I've, like, I've done that before where oh, we're supposed drinks? to eat for drinks. I have a drink and I'm like, hey, actually, like, goodbye. Wait, why? Just like I wasn't feeling her. You say straight up goodbye or no, you no, make no, an no. excuse? Just, I make excuses. Like, yeah, I'm not feeling well. You text I have to you, wake up early. You text Eddie a code word and Eddie's like, Get and, your and ass Eddie home. appears at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're shitty on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I've, what I really want? Oh, my fault. What are you saying? What? What are you going to say? I've, I've left a date during dinner. 
Why? But like, what was yeah? Why I want to know the same thing. I just said she like she wasn't asking me any questions about myself. <laughs> but 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 Wait, what? So if, how do you leave but, that? Like, but what how? if she was I told her like I don't know why you're here. Like all we talk about is you. <laughs> was it a first date? <laughs> he goes. He goes. Yeah. But what if she was shy or nervous? Because you too bad that, that I don't care. I offer. I paid and I left. Yo, imagine he's like, all right, my boy, I'm gonna catch you next time. <laughs> I've also Be done easy. that. <laughs> he said, I'm not having fun. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> But is that not fair on her first? Because remember, you were I dating a girl fair. where you were well, like the first date. <laughs> she was a little bit nervous, but then after I told her, I'm like, "Hey, you." Oh you? yeah, I just I I just stopped. Uh, I just broke the barrier because I'm like, I think when I was dating, I was like, "Oh, I, there's things you shouldn't ask about." Like, I was just asked right out, out in the open. I was just like, "Are you nervous?" She's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "Why?" So then once that happened, I was able to break down the conversation. Where'd like, you oh. learn that from? <laughs> yeah. He went to the Wu-Tak School of Dating. <laughs> what was that? Went to hey, hey, that School has, of Dating. That has to be a clip. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Cut it out. I'm not teaching nobody shit. <laughs> comment never, down. never mind. Hey, down. First rule Boop of dating, don't let your voice crack. <laughs> Wait, have you ever like walked out? Too cowardly. <laughs> I Yo, me too, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'd be I'll sick about I'll doing suffer. that. I'll be I'll like, suffer. what are they going to think about me? I'll monologue the whole date if I have to. <laughs> no. I'd just be like, yeah, so <laughs> this one time. My He's like, you body. wouldn't believe what happened about this one time. Yeah. I'll monologue the whole date. I've done it bro. twice, actually. The second one was just clearly not hope- Like, she kept talking about her ex. So I- oh, <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's rude. That's, okay, yeah. see, that's not etiquette. Yeah. That's good etiquette as well. Don't talk about your ex or past relationships. At least don't talk about them negatively. Unless they ask about it, right? Yeah, then yeah, that's yeah. a conversation. Yeah, unless, unless it's prompted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. definitely I usually not negatively. An, I, I usually apologize yeah. if it comes up twice. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry to say this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's actually mad fire. She, she just kept talking about him. I looked at her. I was like, go get back with him, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Vitz said, oh, who's your ex? And she's like talking. He's like, mm, man, I don't, I don't like this. It walks out. <laughs> you talk about your know. ex too much. But it's not like, I won't do it rudely. I, yeah. I, I, the, out of the two times I did it, I never did it rudely. I just sat them down. I'm like, yo, I don't think like. But that's rude of her to do yeah, that. Yeah, agreed. Okay. Literally, like, why Un, would you bring un, like, up? Unwarranted? Like not. Unwarranted, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like any, I don't blame her because it's like, I know how I am after I break up with my exes. I just think she wasn't ready to date and she was trying to get out there. But I'm just not the type to sit through that and let you use me for your emotional healing. Yeah. Mm. So I was just like, bro, go get back with your ex. I don't think, truthfully, I was just like, I don't think you're over your ex. And I think, like, go go get back with him. Bro. To be honest, that's pretty brave. Uh, I have a story. So that girl that I took on the fourth day, I told you about it. Which one? The Uh, one? Red hair girl? No. No. Mm. Just. (laughs) <laughs> Why are you trying to expose me? I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, I was driving, and it's like this is the fourth day. I just spent like I paid for everything from the first day to the fourth day, ne- like whatever, paid for everything. And this last one, it was like a really nice cocktail experience. And I'm like sitting there, and I'm like. Bro, like, why do I feel like she's uncomfortable? Like, I don't understand. This is the fourth date. We should be vibing right now. And so I'm like, fuck it. Like, I had plans with her, but I was like, I'm just going to take her home. As I'm driving, I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck no more. I'm going to just ask her these questions. I'm like, what's up with you? Like, what's going on? And then as she's talking, she brings up her ex. And I'm like, roll my eyes. I'm like, this is the 80th time that you brought up your ex. So I'm like, Mm. what's good with you about this? Like, Like, all you do is talk about your ex a lot. And... As I'm talking, I'm saying like it's no problem like if like if you feel something towards your ex, but should you really be going out with me? And then before I can even finish my thought, I turn to my right just to look at her, crying. I'm oh like, no! I'm like, yo, my about bro. her ex. Hey, come sit right. down. She, Mr. Starts, she starts crying. Um, because it's just like it was. It's exactly what you said. It was like emotionally healing. Probably uh. like n- like the dates you probably have been on since then. We're probably a bunch of little boys who were like, like, let's go to Cheesecake Factory type shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But what it probably was is like a, like a whack-ass date. Nothing planned. Doesn't, doesn't pick them up or probably tries to split the bill off the rip or something <laughs> like that, you know? And then and then this is probably the first time where like I was like, don't worry about it. I'll pick you up. I know exactly where we're going. We have reservations here, here, here. Like the, I have everything curated and paying for everything. And, and she's probably felt comfortable. Like, oh, this is valid, but you're using me Un- like probably not consciously not consciously but like she is using me and once i brought it out in the open she was just like oh shit i feel so bad and she started crying oh, oh, shit. oh she so, okay so she felt bad transition. she felt bad question. but she also like missed uh uh her she, like, ex yeah she definitely See, missed that's her the ex. thing y'all dude 
girls don't be going on guys and girls don't be going on dates if you're not over your ex because honestly yeah like it's so obvious and it's a waste of their time that's etiquette right there don't yeah. waste the person's time yeah you can the money will always come yeah. back you can always make more money but you can't get back your time oh one last example of good etiquette if I come to pick you up, don't make me fucking wait. Yeah. Oh, boom, 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 boom. You, you can huge. learn this one. No, I can't. I picked up a guy one time. He took like 30 minutes to come out. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> she He's was, like, she was so mad. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, no, no, just she, now. she was just pissed off oh, just okay. now, like oh, thinking yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even imagine, dating I, I etiquette, can, just friend <laughs> etiquette. Yeah. I, could, I could imagine Esther like like making fun of him. When do I ever take a long time to come out? The fuck? You well, take long to do you? things. You be taking long. You tell us to get here. What time were we supposed to get here today? Hey, we were supposed to get here no, by five thirty. No, we're supposed I was to get here. A at good three. friend taking my boy Eddie to get his car. No, nah, yeah, I'll, man, I'll that be is y'all's problem. Talk, okay, we talk we doesn't were... take that long to get ready. I take long to get ready. I'm like this to get ready. Yeah, nah, there? but at the switch of a hat, it's like based on your schedule, you just switch up. The fuck? Facts. You said fight. No, I said the fuck. Oh, I was like, I we can't fight. I was like, damn, okay. <laughs> this is a podcast. <laughs> Just we're letting you guys know. <laughs> throw down right now. Just letting you guys know, we were supposed to meet here at three, and then they changed it, and then eventually we got here at five thirty. Because well, that's because kept... we have to drive to Venice for his car. That's Man, literally that hella traffic. Problem. It was an, literally an hour to get back. Hey, anyways, blame anyways, drunk anyways. Eddie. You can't even blame that Eddie right now. Is anyone you can't got blame anyone? me. What the fuck? Someone stole my shit. I'm Any, a, anyone I'm got beat their ass. <laughs> <laughs> anyone, got, <laughs> anyone got any more adequate... adequate. <laughs> He wants it so bad. Adequate questions. Adequate... <laughs> Is dying next to me as I scoot. I can see him grabbing his head, his eyes. It's just falling apart. I'm good, I'm good, you I'm know good. what this is? What's Your body is literally like, no more alcohol, please. Yeah. The whole time I'm looking no, at you, I'm I think like, my body's telling me I need more alcohol. No, I think you should stop drinking for a little bit. I'm That's hungry. how they get you. Go out tonight sober. That's how big alcohol you can, gets you. Can, you. Tonight, is, you're never going to be sober. Yeah, out, his face out, is like, you should just stop going out for a little bit. After Tuesday, you should take a little break. Yeah. That's my Wait. challenge to you. What do you mean? You're drinking till Tuesday? It's Saturday. Tuesday is the Southern Talks Club event. So. No, I know after, he's gonna after drink after that. tonight I'm done for until Tuesday. Wait. Until Tuesday, that's two days. <laughs> hey, when Manu said I'm going MIA until Tuesday, <laughs> and I was like, oh, so two days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. What is another etiquette? Um, I'm gonna say guy etiquette because we did girl etiquette, mm. but guy etiquette is paying always on the first date, no matter if she does the dance. You can you can try to punk her, but at the end of it, I would I would let I would definitely pay. Um, picking her up if you have the means to, and uh, and here's the thing about why, like I feel like a lot of men nowadays are like, oh, like why should I have to pay? We're both humans, blah blah blah. <laughs> like men and women are very different, and for women, like dating is a far more dangerous situation yep. than for men. So for in your mind, going on a date is like your chance at getting laid, but in her mind, like she could die yep. or get kidnapped. So yep. there's like such a high level of risk that she's trusting you with. So it's like. D- Paying for the bill is a very is a very simple thing, but in that same regard, I think you are fully responsible. You should be responsible for picking her up, getting her home, uh, and yeah, those those yeah, are I good. Think, I, but I think paying is more like yeah, the safety part. But I think it's more chivalrous, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like it's also showing a little commitment, which I think women want some aspect of versus like especially in this dating age where it's just swiping and every yeah, everyone's yeah. an option and you can't find anybody that's and actually there's girls serious out there that'll sleep with you without any commitment. So it's like. Yeah. It kind of shows that that might not be what you want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I think also don't leave them in the dark in, in, in terms of what the plans are. Uh, oh, cause big facts. It's like, bro, like cause some dudes are like, yo, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like some dudes are probably thinking like, ooh, I'm a surprise her with this. Like, brother, no one, do you do not want to surprise? Yeah, them don't surprise it. nobody on yeah, a first surprise date. Them with if you're what, in a relationship, what? like on if a first a date, don't, oh, don't be surprised yeah, 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 yeah. to no one. Yeah, yeah, just be like, hey, I have <laughs> reservations at this spot. You don't gotta tell them exactly Show like two a.m. Yeah, <laughs> bring was, hiking shoes. No, bro, I was, I was, I was thinking like, what if she texts like, oh, what are we gonna do? And then you just respond, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary, bro. Yeah, that's fucking terrifying. Actually, no, now that I think about it, I, I, I usually like. Ooh, actually, I don't know. If, cut, 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 cut. Never mind. Never mind. I'm gonna okay. stop my thought. Yeah. All right. But you know what? It, the the good thing is that if you don't know what she likes, just be like, hey, I mean, what type of food you like, right? Exactly. And, and give her like options. Yep. You know, just be like, oh, do you like Italian or or sushi or whatever? You know, and she picks, and then you pick from there. 
Like, let's just say she said she likes sushi. Then pick the sushi restaurant that you like or mm-hmm. that she would like and then go from there. Big facts. That's, that's the good thing about not going to dinner on the first date. You don't got to be like, you like Italian? There's no Italian... Yeah, I really drinks. recommend against like, dinner like, for a first date, to be honest. <laughs> but if it, if you were going to go on dinner dates, because yeah. some people I just, do. I, just like, invite her to the I feel like that's the most common first date is dinner date. <laughs> like, like, you I, like uh, this alcohol or that alcohol? I invite Regardless, to, to all the, the YMCA. The YMCA. <laughs> oh. He's like, bring your ball shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch me brick shots all day. Had <laughs> Chasing rebounds. <laughs> hey, rebound for me real quick. I, I got an intramural game next week. <laughs> She messes up the past. You could be like, "No, in my pocket, in my pocket." <laughs> What's the uh, mother etiquette? Well, girl etiquette. I guess that to make it easier on the guy, yeah, be more straightforward in what you like. Yes. Yeah. No, don't say. There is never a scenario where you're down for whatever. It's a fucking lie. It's so true. just say what you're down for. Because uh, yeah, it's true. It's annoying when it's like, oh, like I'm down for anything, and you're and you're like, oh, do you want this? Or like, ah. Uh, yeah. And then, and then again, uh, it's very like, bro, true. just tell them. It's also very unattractive. So I feel like girls might do it in a way of like, oh, like, I don't really want to be pushed. Like, I don't want to decide. Like, it feels like, like kind of like encroaching when the guy is like planning the date. But it's like, I don't know a man that finds it attractive when a girl's indecisive. Like, it's ve- and because so many girls are indecisive, you stand out immediately by giving a straightforward answer. And it's like, before date even starts, like, you have elevated yourself multiple points so that way you can not pretend to pay for the bill and still remain at the average level of points and there's there's an easy way to do it too you could be like i like this i like this but i'm down for whatever and it's like you've told them exactly what you wanted without having to be like pushy yeah and Mm. the and then if they still ignore you then you get to be like what a bum yeah that motherfucker is not paying attention at all oh and, and dudes it takes a little bit of effort to plan a first date. Like if you're going on a dinner date, you gotta pick a place. If the food is ass, like genuinely, that will affect how bad your date is. Yep. So like you gotta put. And if you and if you're not the type that like knows all the restaurants in the area, then like you gotta figure that out. You gotta L- go read visit some reviews. Some. Make sure the reservations set. Like you know, like TikTok is low key good at recommendations. Super fire at super recommendations. Fire. Yeah. So like look up dinner places or first TikTok dates. Is a new Google. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Better than because you're getting a video like Yelp, experience. But way yeah. more useful. Yeah. Um, what would you say are like? Like pro level, like outside of just being like polite on a date, what is like, yo, do this and like it'll have sex with them. (laughs) Hey, accidentally drop a condom. (laughs) Oh, bro, I've I've done that before. (laughs) What? On a first date, I had a condom in my pocket and I pulled out my phone and it dropped the condom on the floor. I didn't even know it happened though. And then the waiter comes up behind me. And he moved the condom under my chair with his foot. And, oh, in, and he whispers in my ear, like, you dropped something. Look under your chair. And I look, I see it, and I just look at him. I'm like, my hero. <laughs> yeah, he's so good. Huge yeah. tip. Huge yeah. tip for that oh, one. Oh, big fat tip. Also, they gave me free drinks. Also, they knew who I was, so. Oh, yeah. my God. So, like, that, that tip was fat. That, was, that tip was the whole bill. <laughs> Wutak took care of his tip. <laughs> that tip was his tip. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. I like how it yeah, always turns a- gay, and then <laughs> Esther's just sitting there like... With Pro the- level move stuff. Pro level Go. moves. Mm. Mm, don't drop your condom. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess you're going to... I think you're going to have to say something that you would want a girl to do, and I would have to say something that I would want a guy to do. Like that doesn't normally happen. Yeah, I mean, what he said. One was the opening, opening the door. Opening the, the door inside. thing. What about yeah. you? Guys? No, what, what he said before the opening the door. The I know, but that has that happened to you? No, but I thought, <laughs> the day I'm marrying that woman. Oh yeah. wow! Uh, you know, you know what's something that I think a lot of people gravitated gravitated away from because they thought it was corny, buying flowers. But now that nobody's doing it, like if you do it, you're just kind of on a first date is yeah. a high level move. It buying is. flowers, but I, I would say way better is like, because like, I think it could become off too eager if you brought the flowers to the date. But if they're selling flower, flowers at the venue, yeah, yeah, yeah. boom, right Fire. there. That's a, Hire that's a, a winner. Hire a fake flower seller. Okay, now that's crazy. Ooh. I'm joking. That's like Joe from U level manipulation. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing I love Hire is paparazzi. when a fake robber, you save her from getting jumped. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like super theatrical. You're like, Kaya! Kaya! <laughs> this is why this man is. Wow. I don't and know. You're like, are you okay? Fix your fedora. <laughs> it's always a fedora. <laughs> this man is in his own world. <laughs> For real. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> 
This guy's a storyteller. <laughs> okay. Well, for me, I think thoughtfulness is huge. So let's just say I'm just talking to him and he, I tell him that I'm sick. Like, it would be really nice for him to, like, Uber, like, Postmate me something. That's... That would get me. But that's not a first date thing. Oh, first date Yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. That's like relationship or uh, even like just talking. Talking. Within okay, well, vicinity, if you're talking. The first three dates. Okay, first three I was going to say, how, Wait, would, how would they know your address to well, do Well, first that? three? No, but first three. <laughs> what if, what if, no. What He's like, never told him your address and he postmates you for it. Creepy. No, listen, listen. But sometimes you, if you didn't meet them on like online and you meet them in person, <laughs> like that person will offer to pick you up. So he'll know your address. Huh? Yeah. Wait, wait, say it. Hold okay. on. I, if I got you guys, lost. if it wasn't online dating, right? Let's just say you met this guy at a club or he's a friend of a, like, a, a friend of a friend, right? Then it's not abnormal for him to not know your address. When would he have known your address? Like, like when, when, like you went on, he said within the one oh, to okay, three dates. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Okay. In that case, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had already went on the date, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. talking more like first, a first move date. On the date, not like oh, in between the dates. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But that is a good move. But that goes across the board. Just thoughtfulness in any scenario is yeah. attractive. Yeah. But that in particular. Yeah. Because I like food. Have I have I told you guys the what I do the sidewalk trick? The move them. To oh the, my god! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> move them to the inside of the sidewalk. Yeah. So pro level tip: let them start walking on the outside, and then gently move them in, and be like, and they'll be like, "Why'd you do that?" And you you can say, "I want you to be safe." I move them to the other side of the street because I say, hey, I'm more valuable than you. So if you, if one of us has to go, it's got to be you. I'm just kidding. But I do move them to the opposite because I'm like, really think about it. You think a car is going to hit you or do you want to deal with those guys sitting on that doorstep? Mm. I'm going to stand over where the real danger is. You, know, you want to be trapped by the wall. You, yeah. know, you want an open street. Exactly. Get away. Like, like that guy is definitely more, that crackhead walking on the street is more dangerous than that car just driving by aimlessly. Dude. Uh, just walking around downtown LA today, like it is a GTA. It's GTA the video game. It's literally GTA plus Gotham plus fucking. Yeah, and yeah. it's like imagine like just walking with a date in downtown would be terrifying because it's I like would never go downtown. I yeah. genuinely hate downtown. Yeah, downtown sucks. Hey, See, you'll I don't never feel be that way in Manhattan. Me. Huh? I don't feel that way in Manhattan. Not at all, dude. Even even all. where the bums are, like fucking. Uh, Terminal? Fuck, I forget the name of this place. Terminal? Yeah, the terminal. Uh, the, the, the terminal where all the subways go. Hey, uh, who by Brian I? Park. Eddie on a podcast. <laughs> Eddie on a podcast. <laughs> At least I don't take my dates to the fucking Cheesecake Factory. I've never taken a date to the Cheesecake Factory. Only been there once. <laughs> At least I don't pee in suitcases. Only happened once. <laughs> on the, the floor, fact not that it in the suitcase. Once. The fact Allegedly, that it happened once. Hey, no proof. You know, you know one of the funniest interactions I had downtown when I was living there? They have the uh, the window washers, right? Like, park that when you park at a red light, they'll come up washing windows. Oh, I hate them. One time, I didn't have cash, so he did it, and I was like, I rolled my window down, like, I don't have cash, but I just I had just bought like a like a box of uh, Celsius. I was like, you want an energy drink? I give it to him. I look in my rearview mirror. He gives it to the guy behind me, <laughs> <laughs> and I could like, I could like his his movements were like, yeah, like you want this. <laughs> I would never accept the uh, Celsius. Bro, uh, <coughs> the people that w wipe your window, windshield when you come up, they dirty my shit yeah. so yes, bad. Yeah. That's why I hate it. I hate it. It's never actually cleaning. And then they try to press you for money. I'm like, you just ruined my windshield. Like, why would yeah. I pay you? I'm always there walking up. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no they still I start, do it. They I start triggering it, my windshield wipers. Fight them. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting them off your windshield. <laughs> and he's just like, do men need a roster nowadays to find the one? No. In fact, I'd say that it'd take you farther. Really? Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> I don't care what you say. No, <laughs> Eddie just said tried and tested. Please yeah, explain. No. I think the uh, the way to find the one is to be able to give your attention to the person and and its fullest potential. But like if you're splitting amongst like five people, you're splitting parts of yourself, and you're also probably code switching between them a lot too. So like one person likes one thing, and you're, in order to keep it up, you're gonna try to probably you know I don't want to say completely change your personality, but you will probably be like, let's say like I'm not into EDM, right? And I'm and I'm into this girl and she's into EDM, then I'm more likely going to listen to EDM and it's not my genuine self. But if I'm talking to one person, 
I'm only going to just be who I am. This guy's a manipulator. Yeah, hold on. That, <laughs> what the, I don't know the, if I've ever... I've well, had rosters. About, are you agreeing with the question or no? Because he's saying, do men need a roster? He's saying, no, he's, he's not saying a, no. He's disagreeing. Oh, he disagrees. Yeah. Got it. I was yeah. like, what the hell? This sounds like you're disagreeing. Yeah. Wait, how's that manipulation? I'm joking. I think that it's a that's podcast. What, that it, it is. I think that if you're if you're switching parts of yourself to be to better suit somebody, then yeah, you're manipulating them. But and I did that back when I was like a, like a fuck boy, like before, like when I was like 20 years old. That's like basically what I would do. Wait, but, but like, you could just oh, okay. be opening your like mind to different. Yeah, things. I was about to say not not the manipulating part, but I do miss when like I I started to have a crush on a girl and like. Finding out her interests that I don't know about and like exploring that's it. That's what I'm yeah, saying. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's not see manipulating. Yeah, I don't see manipulation. doing Pilates and shit. <laughs> nah, mostly music. Like, there's no, a no, lot I of I know what artists. you're saying. Yeah. Or like, if there's a show, right? Like, I wouldn't normally watch. Yeah. And then they're talking about it and the way they talk about it. I'm like, that's different. That's fucking, that's, that's just shared interest. Oh, bro, bro, but what I'm not saying is like, oh, you're into EDM. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm going to start going to the club all the time, start listening. But it's just more like, give like, it a chance. Yeah. I give it a chance. Yeah, yeah. I think what you're more saying is if like one girl, like, like Why is it so likes it if when you speak to her like this way versus like this girl likes like aggressive flirting and then this girl likes doesn't really like it when you come on too strong and then mm. this girl likes to do these types of things and so you only do those types of things with her and then this other girl specifically likes you know you you only drink with because you know she likes to drink like you know what I mean like you're just kind of like playing to what they like that you know you can provide like those parts of like you are there you know? yeah the the thing is that how this. Uh, one of my friends was telling me how you know he's kind of like a hopeless romantic, and just he's like me for real. yeah, and, he, and he's just, just like kind of real, just like us for real. And he's just found himself where he's just like investing too much time in women that are just not what he wants. Oh, not like us for real, not like us at all for yeah. real. And and more recently, he kind of noticed that his close friends that have girls that they're with that they're like, oh, it's a great relationship. She's the one. They all had like rosters. And the reason why he said, it's not like huge rosters or whatever it is, but he was saying that like, because they weren't looking for it per se, it's like when you don't look for love, it finds you. And so when you're being a slut, you find love. And that's, I mean, that's kind of the question I posed back to him. I'm like, I don't know if that's entirely true, but he's like, well, it's more of the feeling that you have when you don't necessarily need it Mm. that girls will find out. Uh, yeah. Girls You're not will, desperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, girl, that's see, the see, word. See, see, see. You're not desperate and I girls see. can feed off that energy. And he's also, internally as a man, you're not trying to put so much time and effort into things that necessarily aren't exactly what you want, totally you know? Agree. I have I have uh. one thing that I want to say, though. Um, Because I don't consider this a roster. Like, let's say I go on a date with one girl. I'm like, okay, that was cool. And then I go on a date with another girl. Figure that out, right? But disgusting. But but, but a roster to me is like an upkeep of a cycle between people. Yeah. Mm. So like you are trying to maintain these relationships at the same time. Mm. Versus me being like, I tried this, uh, I tried that. Okay, I like that. Let me try it again. And then you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I don't consider that to be a roster because you still do. There's no way you can find the one dating one person and trying to make it work all the way through. Like I think you should just test that out and see what you like. And if you do find it you're like okay let me keep trying that let me keep going on dates with this person and figure it out and it will fizzle out if it's not meant to be i think that there's eventually going to be an overlap though if you're going out and like dating different people you're going to find someone that you that's how a roster gets built yeah and that's how you find 10 girls you like and you try to date all of them at once and then you know somebody's like wait you stop doing that and then you're like but why i like all of you and you're like is that a personal experience no this is just what i hear (laughs) from from hear from who on the streets you're just randomly talking to no, people. No, streets is calling him. <laughs> the streets calls me every time. Yeah. But don't you Talk, think let that? Let me explain what's going on. <laughs> let me give you an update, <laughs> sir. <laughs> We'd like to update you on the status of the streets. <laughs> Who talks like that? Sounds pretty nice. No, stay home. <laughs> I don't really have a say in this, actually. About men about needing the ros- a roster. The roster. I'm trying to think about when I used to have a roster. That's crazy. Damn. Was, that's so crazy. Man. You had a roster? <laughs> <laughs> Please explain. Hey, any, any, what? Never mind, man. <laughs> what? You, you had, had it. Do you this had this it. Yeah, I don't don't know. give up, man. Keep trucking. Yeah, come on, cameraman. We believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, that good. Yeah, you, my bad for yelling at you, bro. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with being a cameraman? Huh? What's wrong with being a cameraman? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Oh, Wait, what right. were you gonna say though? I was gonna say any any leeway you made with uh, Jeremy is done now. Yeah, but now just it's exposed. The, the moment's really over. Are. Yeah, the oh, moment's over. No, I don't have a roster anymore. I'm just saying back in the day, I'm like younger. Super. When when 
like 22, 23. Do you think it's acceptable to have a roster when you're around that age? Real question, not trying 20 to roast what? you. 20 what? 20, like, let's say early Are 20s. Are you fucking all of them? I think if you're if you have a real <laughs> roster, you're fucking them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then no, then no, then no. Uh, duh. I would, I would, I would <laughs> never. Fucking with your roster and playing five on five. <laughs> no, I would, ne- I would never uh, sleep with more than. I mean, I would never sleep with. I will. I would only sleep with one person if I was At a to time? have. If I'm talking to people, then yeah. Only oh, so one. you're fucking a guy and then also talking to five others. Mm, it could happen. What's the biggest your roster's ever gotten? But we're only going on dates. We're not doing anything. No, no, else. yeah, that's fine. I'm uh, your version of a roster. Okay, yeah. Um, I would say like five. So five people you're actively like seeing what's gonna happen with. Yeah, so once a, like, once a week. What about when, you, Jerome? She's like Monday dinner with Tuesday dinner. She's yeah. like oysters, oysters, <laughs> oysters, oysters. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she doesn't like eating the same thing. It'll be different <laughs> yeah. foods. Like, oh, true. I actually have a question. Is it true that women in during their their single phase they like to have a guy that like a guy for fucking a guy for dates and a guy for like just like quality time Whoa. like they have a a guy to fulfill each part of their life Oh, I don't know about that, but like for me that's that seems like a stupid amount of work. Mm-mm. It's like why don't you just have one person that could do all of it, right? All of it. That's why? called a because, boyfriend. Yeah, that is a girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. What? That's called a significant it's other. Like, <laughs> if you're if you're seeing a guy that you're just fucking cuz he has good dick but he's not buying you food, that he's a that's bum. A bum. Yeah. That's he's a, a fucking yeah. bum. Well, bums lay good pipe. They do. That's they got they nothing have. else going yeah. on that's for them. They yeah, be digmatizing no. oh, wait, why everybody. Why would we know that? <laughs> <laughs> I was once a bum. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, no, that'd be dumb, dude. That's that's a waste of time. Cause then, nah, yeah. But, nah, I, 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 but I see the like. It's like it is hard to find. If you found that, you would probably lock them down realistically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So it is. It's probably like you end. You end up like. Realistically, the guy that you're having good sex with is going to be a guy that's probably has other options and you're like not expecting commitment from him. So you're like, I'll keep fucking this guy while this guy is a gentleman and a simp and will mm. take, spend a lot of money on me on dates. So I'll keep going on dates with him. Don't really want to fuck him, though, because he's not that attractive. And then oh, I see. I see. Yeah, and then there might be a guy that she's actually interested in. It's like, I want to spend as much time time as I can with this guy without fucking him because it might ruin it and I'm still getting my sexual needs met by this fuck boy. Oh man, that's, that's just so greedy. I know, I understand I why most girls. I understand why they do that and I think that's, yeah, cool but it, I'm like thinking It's not cool. You basically want the cake and you also want to eat it too and I'm just like, that's just gonna fuck you up at the end. I feel like, manner, I feel like men are kind of like that too. No, no, it's true. I mean, how big is your, how big is your roster been? <laughs> like the biggest it's ever gotten? Yeah. yeah. I don't even want to say, say it. It's like it say it, say it. You have to say it. Well, Adam, he's fucking. Adam Silver, head of the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, but I'm not fucking all of them though. Like, but yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't want to say. <laughs> Wait, but in your definition, is a roster considering like the you... upkeep? It's the upkeep. Yeah, of girls girls you could I'm call them up, meeting up yeah. with, like talking to. Okay, I see, I see, I see. If we're talking, talking to during the pandemic, there was a point where it was like I had a spreadsheet type shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I haven't He's seen Mary in two weeks. Please, like, oh, please okay. explain. No, no, I don't want to explain that. Sure. How are you tracking? I wasn't tracking, but it was like to the, like because that was like literally like just popped off like hundreds of DM requests a day. Mm-hmm. So then it's like going in there and be like, "You've made the cut. You've made the cut. You've." And then it would get so I understood like, "Oh wow, I'm losing track of what I've said to every one of you." Motherfucker so. had a CRM for his roster. <laughs> I couldn't That's keep rough. track of anything. So like, honestly, it made me give it up because I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what I said to you. Like, I, I, like none of the conversations had any depth because I couldn't remember like what point in our relationship we were. People out there, imagine how many girls he had to be talking to to get to that point. How many times did you get uh, guys that? guys are sick. <laughs> how many times did you get that term like... Uh, what the fuck just happened? I just got. You must have said that to your other girl. Ooh, I'm rubbing off on that, you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Well, Two camera guys. Yeah, yeah. The wrong. The wrong. What are you trying to say about a camera guy? Huh. This camera guy doing what right now? Huh? You on the podcast? Yeah. This guy's yeah. feisty today. He's spicy. He uh, always yeah. spicy. I'm just. I'm just. There's gonna be clips throughout this podcast. Eddie just pop it off. What the fuck? You two <laughs> argued. Me and him. You just. I'm just turning into my own man. You don't like it. <laughs> you try to keep him down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was it? Oh yeah, so how many how many times has a girl gone like wrong bitch to you? Oh, turn off. It's uh, immediate turn off. But I mean, I I wouldn't say any like it didn't really happen much around that time. To be honest, yeah. How, what's the biggest your roster's been? Mm. Similar situation when I first blew up, and then also just like I just hate talking to them, so I stopped talking to them. 
you get tired of it after yeah. it's just like meaningless you know mm. and that's i don't agree to sum it all up i don't really agree that you need a roster yeah i do think you need to go on you can't just but like if you if you go on a date and you like what happened on that date you probably want a second date and like you know yep and like but i think if you're like dating somebody like the ideal situation is that somebody you're dating like consistently seriously and you're like wanting to see them again you want to build on it like don't keep a roster as well as doing that <laughs> yep thank you for tuning in to another episode of under the influence <laughs> I almost make tried. sure you come you learned a lot about a lot <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck stop <laughs> laughing at me you learned a lot you learned a lot about dating first date <laughs> etiquette and uh, partying today. So make sure you come to our LA party. Maybe you'll find somebody to go on that first date with. In fact, I will personally make it my mission to date every... No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I do think a lot of you guys, like, uh, I, I feel like it's a good mix of girls and guys. There's a lot of good looking people that mm. show up. So you guys will definitely be able to uh, practice all the riz you learn on this channel. And um, practice all the emotional intelligence you learn on this channel. Get your tickets now. Yes. It's going to be really, really fun. I can't wait to party with you guys. December 2nd for LA and then December 7th or 8th for San Diego. It'll this be will, on the screen. This It'll will be in the also be Nectar's birthday and we'll be launching Variety Pack number two, which has a brand new... Brand new flavor. Got him. Green grape. Okay, done. Oh my God. Green grape was good. Uh, you liked it? Yes. It's, yeah, I, lo I love that flavor. But signing out. Thank you all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Share, 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 Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.